PJ. I think look how much more space we got. This is this is the un- setups keep improving. Un- unprecedented, <laughs> historic. He has enough like, for like how Biden beat Trump. PJ, oh, shit, it's we're still on that. Huh? I'm not going to forget. Never forget, ne- motherfuckers. Never forget. <laughs> you know, I, I, I saw as of today, like officially. Mm-hmm. I think they said, "Oh yeah, you know, give me the give me the goddamn right. shot." They said officially. What was that noise? You hear that? Was your phone? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I was about to say, make sure it wasn't this damn thing stopping or something. Oh, the fan. Thank you. Um, Are we still recording? So I'm about. Yeah, we're recording. This about this about to be the whole episode. Me like, we recording? We recording? All this right. is still good. I don't trust it yet. Okay. So those of you who can't see the camera feed, I got a Zoom H1 in. I think mm-hmm. that's what it is. I'm not. I don't feel like getting up and looking. But as you've heard in previous episodes, you know sometimes you get like weird stutters mm-hmm. or maybe weird edits where it seems like there's like you can tell there's an edit there mm-hmm. a lot of times it's not actually because me and pj said some crazy shit yes. it's because <laughs> well you know shit computers happens. be fucking up hmm. yes i realize i ain't got my christmas costume i gotta put my costume on real quick so ah, after, after i take this shot bad. oh me and pj got shot glasses made out of candy cane yeah I showed you for all of our patrons. Yeah, oh yeah. Also, they saw right on yes. the, they saw on the video. That's right. We got oh yeah, that's what I said. I said maybe yeah. you saw on Wednesday's drop, but yeah, we you got didn't. Candy cane shot. Like, we can't click them, so we just there you ah. go. Imagine there was a click there. There you. And I chase it down with some of the Sprite cranberry. And I chase it down with some of the vanilla coke. Mm. Drinks of chapter. Ah yes. Oh PJ. Mm-hmm. Zoom H one N. Yes. Because my computer. <laughs> I bought that expensive ass laptop, mm-hmm. and the episodes would still sometimes have these weird stutters. Yes, where it would basically sound like. I mean, just imagine me and PJ and me a conversation. Yo, that movie was crazy, PJ. Just like that part. Yeah, and then that shit happened. Like legit, that little part. Yes, would sometimes break and happen in the middle of a fucking conversation. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, if I can't find a natural cut point to like, I'm trying to think of an example for you. Like, make it even. How we had the Magnum XL conversation before. Yes. So, like, we start talking about Magnum XL, mm-hmm. and then we cut out the whole joke part of you not knowing what I was talking about. Mm-hmm. So, like, imagine that whole conversation, that part got cut. Oh, well, that's, that's almost the whole the, conversation. Yeah, it's the, the main thing. thesis, yes. yes. So, there's times where whole sections, well, I mean, people that watch the Patreon videos probably know by now, but that shit had to get cut out. Hmm. And I was tired of that shit. And even points, sometimes it wouldn't even be whole conversation. Sometimes it would just be annoying. It's like one line. Throws off the whole next 20 fucking sentences. Because uh, it'll sometimes be the line that gets us into something. And it's like, fuck. Can't use that whole thing. Uh, and I don't want to leave it in there. And none. So it's like, I got I to gotta figure out around this. Either that or I'm just going to have to cut this whole fucking section. You know what that sounds like to me? What does that sound like? That sounds like y'all should be fucking patrons. <laughs> because you're missing <laughs> premium qu- content. That's quality shit that you are cutting out. Even a couple of like, sometimes there's legit jokes where I'm like, fuck, man, I can't salvage this. It has to go. <sighs> Thank you. You are doing the right choice. If you can't, if you're not looking at me right now, I just pointed to the camera. And I said, you. Yes, you. You are making the right choice indeed. You listening, you are still making the right choice. I'll tell you why. Because here, this is the home motherfucking video motherfucking Hustle. Are we recording? Yes, we're recording. Since I had we're to recording check. theme music. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. Let's go. Home video hustle. 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 Home hustle. Motherfucking hustle. Hustle, 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 motherfucking hustle. What's going on, everybody? I'm Brent. I'm PJ. And the spirit is sleeping. Mm-hmm. But I gotta tell him no anyway. That what? this mm-hmm. is the home video hustle. We do what, PJ? Hustle, motherfucking hustle. I, now, I've, I've listened to the feed from this microphone. I, it sounded good when I plugged the headphones into it. Mm-hmm. But I don't know how it's going to sound. So, I don't know how it sounds yet. This is test run. This is breaking new ground type shit. So, they're getting it fresh right now. This is however this turns out. It's for 2020, you suckers. Okay. So, yeah, it's fresh. Let's go. Ha. So, hopefully it sounds good. Okay. Because I paid 120 bucks for this fucking thing. <laughs> it better sound It good. better sound fucking good. Right. Zoom. Make me immaculate. Oh, you've never seen that. What movie? Love Jones. I haven't seen it, Immortalize PJ. my ass. 
Yeah, he was, ah! Immortalized my ass? Nah, it was... Not literal ass, just not my literal. ass, like me. Yeah. Like a noun, my yes, ass. My ass. What's well, both of them are nouns, that. technically. Yeah. They're a person and a thing. Hmm. Can an ass be a place? It can be. I was in be. that ass. Is there that not? You go. See, it's all three <laughs> are covered, folks. Boom. Because my dick is going there. Nah. <laughs> That's, oh, I was getting all up in final that. Final destination. Yes. Ooh, number six. Hmm. That's the final destination. Everybody's running from getting that ass ran up. <laughs> Never. I, there's there's some final destination? Know. I've seen. Oh. I've seen the one I remember most is the one with the roller coaster. The third one. That's the weakest one. Oh. In my opinion. My opinion. Go ahead. I'm going to bulletproof that shoot me, bitch. Not, yeah, okay. I said so. I can't remember any other one, but I know um, I've seen They all have, like the, like you said, the third one's the roller coaster. The first one's a plane. Nope. Second oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Has a vision. Yes, yes, yes. Second yes. one is a highway, big highway accident power up thing. Nah. Oh, yeah, that's the that's my favorite one. Uh, third one's a roller coaster. The fourth one is a fucking like NASCAR like racetrack thing. No. And then the fifth one, I think, was a bridge collapse. Yes. Okay, so you've seen the first yes. one and the last one. Okay. Boom. Funny how oh, I'm sorry, that's three. three. Oh, you've seen three. That's right. You've yes. seen the first one, middle. You've seen first, middle, last. Hey. That's you, all. You I got the in between point. You missed my favorite one and my, uh, my other one, my other favorite one. Isn't that how it happened? How there's a, there's a part in the, final, the fourth final that's. I hate the names again because they did this. They did the same thing that Friday the 13th did in the same fucking place. Mm hmm. Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th part two. Yeah. Friday the 13th part three. Yeah. Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Mm-hmm. Friday the 13th, 5. <laughs> 5, 13, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. Freddy vs. Jason. Uh, final, uh, final Destination. Mm-hmm. Final Destination 2. Mm-hmm. Final Destination 3. Uh, the Final Destination. Uh, final Destination 5. <laughs> Fuck off. What is going on here? Yes. You called it the final in that shit. Mm-hmm. Bitch. There is no more. That's right. So, but it's crazy because the fifth one actually is a prequel to the first one. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers uh, for that old ass movie on so far. <laughs> uh, never seen it. Fuck everybody. Spoilers for the final destination five. Okay. The movie ends with them escaping death. You know those things always, oh, we got to escape yeah, death. Yeah. They escape death and the, the final shot of them is like, you know, let's go on vacation or some shit. All right, cool. They get on this plane from the first movie. Yeah. Uh, that's the twist ending is that they escape the death that they were running from, but then they went right into the first movie and they showed uh, them flying out the airplane and dying. So you lose. Good day, sir. Wow. It gets nothing. Wow. That's good. Actually, I, like I like that. that. See, yeah. yeah. And the great thing about that is if we ever do those movies, he'll never remember that shit. I, right? I, it's like new every time. I don't know how. Mm-hmm. Right? Hmm. Cause Maybe. it's the most wonderful time Goddamn right. of the year. <laughs> yes. I don't know the words, but I do know that it's the most wonderful time of the year. Goddamn right. I do some say the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah, 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 yeah. BT Group came ain't nothing without David Ruffin. Nobody come to see you, Otis. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, you see the way oh, I know okay. what you're talking about. <sighs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. PJ. Yes. It's the first episode of the Christmas Hustle. Yes. We out of Halloween. We're finally out of... Was that long? I don't I felt like that was kind of short. Halloween Hustle felt like it, it ebbs, ebbs and flows. Mm, okay. Then okay. looking back, yes. the janitor and the hip hop witch felt like so long ago. Yes, it does. But see, I think the, I think the thing is that you usually would come only on Fridays for the last few weeks. Now you've been coming Friday and Saturday. Yeah. So, so I think mean, that's why I feel like we've been bum rushing through the because okay. the beginning of the hustle, Halloween hustle, felt a little bit longer. It was yeah. And yeah. Then we started dragging. blazing two at a, two a week. Yeah. Okay. So that's that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're here. Christmas. Yeah. And full of fucking cheer. Huh. See, goddamn right, motherfucker. Yes, PJ. Uh huh. I um, if people that didn't watch the video, fuck you. I'm sorry. No, you know, I won't say fuck. Shame on you. Shame, shame, <laughs> shame, 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 shame. Shame. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Uh, I know that. I don't know why. That's the shame. That's the fucking Evelyn Champagne King. You know shame. I, yeah, I know it. I just don't know no, why. It's I know. a shame. I just I can't think of the words right now. I've been I've been drinking. Uh-huh. I've been drinking. There you go. Where's my phone? Where's my fucking phone? There you go. Every time. You know that song, PJ. You know I know that song. You Shame. Know. Oh, that's... Man, we got to do a low down dirty shame. shame. 
Tim 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 Isn't that no Shane <laughs> What are you talking about? I don't know. I thought something just song thing ever I'm talking about if the add you fucker. There it goes. And I can't I can't even skip it. It's He's that Jake. bullshit. He's that nigga now. Oh, that's a white that's dude. That ain't Jake. Yeah, you thought <sighs> you thought it was Jake, motherfucker. That's fucked up. Let's no, go. It's not Skip this up. ad. Oh, dude. Oh. oh. That's the song oh, I'm Yeah. Okay. What? Oh. That's my shit. I'm thinking of fame. Oh, the, the, like the, when they was dancing and shit? Fame. Oh, I, I think that exists. They're from the old 80s shit. Yeah. There you go. Keep my whole body down in there. I can see now. No more. I remember now. That's my shit, Roy. Right? Yeah. You know, Janae remixed that for a low down dirty shame. Janae did a, a remix type. Janae Aiko? No, Janae, the fucking. Uh, hey, Mr. DJ. Oh, did she? Yeah, that's two oh. of them, PJ. There's two of them, PJ. Janae is two. Ah. <laughs> yeah, right there. We gotta do this movie, man. I fucking love this movie. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That's it. That's the groove we need right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck Jingle Bells. Goddamn right. All right. Ah. We gotta do that movie one day. Yes. Oh, PJ. Sorry. Yeah. What the fuck are we doing? Oh, yes. Yeah. So we're talking about Christmas. That's yes. Funny. PJ. Yes, Merry Christmas. Yeah, hey, motherfucker. <laughs> this is episode. Oh, I was telling him about the theme. That's right. Mm-hmm. It's it's the same as usual, pretty much. We just tweaked it just a little, just a little bit. <sighs> Usually, I just pick up. I, I I do half and half. I'd be like, all right, PJ, these are my Christmas movies. And yes. if you're new to the show, my Christmas movies involve a lot to death, mm-hmm. killing, destruction, mm-hmm. ass whooping. We don't fuck around and drink mistletoe. I just drink mistletoe. We don't drink eggnog <laughs> under the mistletoe, motherfucker. We right. shoot. Mi- so shit like Die Hard and stuff mm-hmm. like that it would be my Christmas movie. But then I would throw in the shit like Jingle All the Way, which is technically I love that movie. Yeah, but that would be like shit like that and Home Alone and stuff like yes. that for PJ Christmas movies. Yeah, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not sure Christmas movies and then my quote on Christmas <laughs> movies. Yes, but um, I don't care. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Everybody eat all the dick. I Fuck you. Agree. Thank you. See, that's nah, why. I'm that's there. why he's here. Yeah. Right? See, I got scissors in my hand. I could shank this nigga right now <sighs> if he had said otherwise. You know, if you, I, if they have. What defines a Christmas movie? Are we recording? Yes. I'm still, I'm checking. I'm still, um, <laughs> it defines a Christmas movie to me. It takes place at Christmas. Boom. There's snow. That's trees hard. and shit. Or the music. Jingles. Christmas the, music. They had the music in the airport. The, like they, if the a, movie ends with the, well, the weather outside is right. frightful. That's, and the is so delightful. And since we know place to go. Let, let it, it snow, snow, let it snow, let it snow. It yeah, also yeah, had yeah, Christmas yeah, at yeah. Hollis, too. Yeah, I was just uh-huh. saying, yeah. Remix. Yes. <laughs> it was a similar 24th of us. So, yes, Christmas music. Yeah. It takes place at Christmas time. That's the biggest one. Why for me. is that not considered because, a Christmas Because, movie, PJ, yeah. there's a, people die. Christmas is not about the fucking scissors. <laughs> It's not about the death and destruction. I just threw scissors. I had to throw some scissors. They would just like fall out of my hand. Um, what was I saying? Fuck. Christmas is oh, not oh, about. Oh, it's not about the death. It's about, you know, the, it's a wonderful life. You know, oh, I know the meaning of Christmas is I, you know, ah, being good to people. The and, jolly. You know, the, the, the jolly. The holly. The jolly. The yes. hoarded tortedness. Ah, all that bullshit. Oh. No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I said it. That's why I'm supposed I said it. We'll talk through this movie. Because I don't. Do you? Well, so, technically, this I think is a Hanukkah movie. If you want to be real technical about ah, it, but I mean, it's the theme. theme. You still think Hanukkah don't mean we gonna shoot motherfuckers? Or it's just the theme. Yeah, is yeah it's just slightly a little yes, tweak on it because they yes. do say Merry Christmas and all that. Yeah. But see, do you know the best way we can put this all together? It's a like fucking like, holiday movie. Stop. There you go. Happy holiday. holiday there you go. Like, From us to you to everyone. Goddamn. Enjoy right. your shell. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. So yeah, that's, but see, even when this is my Christmas movies, I like to have a little bit of action because mm-hmm. I can only see so much of that fucking lovey dovey bullshit before I vomit. Can there's no more. So mm-hmm. I add the good shit. Mm-hmm. And this, like this right here that we're watching, mm-hmm. is a spirit pick. 
Because mm. this this year, I just picked my own movies. And I found out I don't actually own a lot of Christmas movies, like, <laughs> fucked up or otherwise. I'm like, oh, I can't, we've kind of done all the ones I have. Is that surprising to you? No. I would figure we would write. I was thinking, I was like, I don't have any more fucked up ones than this. But we fucked up before because we did a long, the Long Kiss Good Night. And that was a hidden uh, Christmas movie I didn't yes, know about. Because yes, I had never yes. seen it. So that would have been one. Um, there is one that's it's under the tree. I don't own it. But it's one that I've been meaning to buy. It's a, mm. it's a big ass one. It's definitely a PJ never seen. I know you ain't seen it before. Okay, it's one of my grandma's favorite. Movies. I want to know what the fuck is mine. You want to what? You want to like, what? You want to what? I want to know. Oh, that's what you saying that kind of different. I oh, that's why. have picked before. You'll never know. God <laughs> damn, my memory sucks. Stop all the drinking. Baby, it is the weed I smoke. So you should probably stop <laughs> fucking with that shit. Oh, yes. Now tell me, tell me. Tell me. How many shots are you going to take? Five. How many shots? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I can't go. Um, PJ. Yes. I don't know what the time is because I can't see the thing. So I can't tell you how long. You don't got to look. No. Uh, is it recording? It's recording. Okay, it's thank recording. You. <laughs> We're gonna it's, do that. Um, Fifteen minutes. 15 oh, minutes. oh, that's yeah. about normal. Quality man. podcasting. It's good shit. This is it here. Good drunken shit. Matter of yes. fact, where the goddamn liquor? Yeah. I'm talking about you. Give me the that liqueur. Food, goddamn liqueur. Yes. I let my sit in the peppermint for a minute. I'm gonna do that too. Actually, <laughs> get that peppermint. Some peppermint schnapps in this God bitch. Goddamn right. Nah. Oh, man, if we had schnapps, we could actually make peppermint this schnapps. Is, wow. Take that, take that, take that. Don't give me any He like, don't threaten you with a good time, That's motherfucker. Yes, God damn, I know the perfect schnapps. Mm. Mm. Well, PJ. Yes. This is episode 182. Yes, it is. Eight Crazy Nights. Mm-hmm. Adam Sandler's mm. Eight Crazy Nights. Let me put respect on his name. Is, right. that, is there a reason he did that? Is there Eight Crazy Nights before? Oh, the, or he eight just... Hanukkah Nights. You know, it's, it's eight nights, so they're eight crazy nights. That's it. I think, see here... I'm going. I'm going to spoil the fact that I'm, I, I like some Adam Sandler movies, but I would not call myself like an Adam Sandler super fan. I don't watch everything he does, so mm-hmm. but I do know I think that he because he he does music and shit sometimes out there, little comedy yes. music and shit. Yes, and I think he did that Eight Crazy Nights nice song. I think it's a song. I think mm-hmm. it plays in the end of the fucking movie. I think actually. Oh, that's yeah, it. that thing. Nah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I think he got it from that because, you know, Hanukkah has eight nights and so he makes the jokes and it's eight crazy nights. You see, that's, that's uh, the joke, PJ. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, crazy shit. I, PJ. Yes. Brent's never seen mm-hmm. number 12. I've never seen this shit. Mm-hmm. If you saw the video, I'll technically, I've seen bits of it. Yes. Because my cousin Chris back in the day, I remember, love this fucking movie. <laughs> he will pull out the tape. Yes, the VHS tape, kid. Wow. Yeah, I remember it. fucking. Don't you dare. Don't late, you dare. Late. Don't you century. dare. Since, what is it? I was born in the late 1900s. The late, you, yes. The you, late 1900s. Don't you dare nigga. when you just now got an xbox one after ah, the ps2 yeah and what was in that door under the thing when i opened it up motherfucker under the VHS. tv a fucking vhs player you don't you, you oh, i have a crit. kid with movies why, i have my why, movies okay. that i hey, th- thank you i didn't even have to ask <laughs> the question whose movies is he watching i mean they're mine exactly ah did yeah. you just have a whole flashback of fucking daffy duck vhs tapes not too long ago i did yes I just showed him one of those exactly. recently. Exactly. I know you did, you old Fuck. bastard. Yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> so, yes. <sighs> the pot calling the kettle black ass fuck. This is, yes. I'm a late 1900s ass nigga. That's um, right. Uh, we hey. both are. But, yes, A Crazy Nights, Adam Sandler shit. I've yes. never seen the whole thing before. And the bits I did see back in the day, I thought this shit was whack. Mm-hmm. So, I walked out the room, and that's why I didn't see the rest of it. Mm-hmm. So, all I knew from this movie was the poop sickle joke. Because there was a DVD or tape or something I had that had this fucking ad play in front of it. It probably was a tape, did you know? I don't know. That's how they do. Yeah. But um, I, that joke was always the little the stinger type thing or something. So I remember seeing it a lot. So that was all I knew about this shit. That, hmm. And Adam Sandler was in it. That's it. That's all I know. I know nothing more. Yes. 2002. 2002 is when that's our last of middle school, right? We were 11, so yeah, yeah, yeah pretty yeah. show. Okay. PJ, right. an hour and 16 minutes, brisk. Yeah, easy to get through. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah, all right. I'm not spoiling nothing. Yeah, all right. That's how I legit when I when I picked this movie out, I was like, it's, I wrote down hour to sixty minutes. I was like, oh, all right. sigh of relief. I can do just, this. Okay. I can do this. Uh huh. And PJ, how much you think this movie costs? Uh, it's Adam Sandler. Animation. 
animation. I don't know. Do animations cost more? It depends on the animation style, I think, but they're not cheap. I mean, it's cheaper to do live action. Okay. Just throw a f- bunch of bumble fucks in front of the camera, like we do. <laughs> right here. You see yeah. this? Or, no, fuck you. No, don't fuck whoa, you. Whoa. Sorry. PJ, you can't be that aggressive. This is right. I digress. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. It's 2002. Seven million. I'll let you go one more time. It's way higher than seven. It's double oh. digits. So it's get out the singles. Like, you one more shot. One more shot. He said it's... W- shot. Come on. Shot. 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 20. $34 million, PJ. Mm. You know he got all those fucking brand advertisements and shit. So you know they gave us some money for that yes, shit. Yes, 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 yes. So $34 million. How much do you think it made, though? You think this was a hit? You think it made its money back? It was a biggie bomb bomb? $34 million? I tell you what, I'll give you one more shot because it did not make its money back. So oh. go lower than 34 This was a bomb, biggity bomb, biggity bomb, bomb, bomb. 10. It didn't make more than 10. It made 23.8. Mm. Mm. So okay. it, almost it was an $11 million loss pretty much. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, so that's why there's no sequel or other anime. I mean, does that like, I feel like that doesn't affect Adam Sandler's career Well, Adam all. Sandler, look, let's look at what he did after 2002. I'm pretty sure it's probably like a movie every fucking year. And if I recall, right. this is a Columbia movie, Meaning. which is owned by Sony, which he still puts movies out under. So they still fuck with him. Oh, so. boom. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's been around since the 80s or 90s. I want to say if, if very early 90s, I want to say. Maybe. Very early 90s. Adam Sandler. All right. Put some respect on his name. Right. Adam Sandler's Eight Crazy Nights. Yes, sir. We should do one called... The Hustlers, seven. Oh, here you go. Wild. The very first credit he has is four episodes of the Cosby Show. His name was Schmitty. His first like credit, first thing he did, his first credit. Oh, he was four episodes of the Cosby Show. Is the first thing he did. It's eighty-seven, eighty-eight. Yeah, I did see him on the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First movie he ever did was Going Overboard in nineteen eighty-nine, and it got Uh a one point eight out of ten on IMDb because I heard that movie is trash. It is. is. No, there you go. It's kind of like this with the narration, but it's... Yeah, it's trash. So he's pretty much... The, he did a movie called Shakes the Clown in 1991. And from mm. that point on, that's... So I would say from 19... They're very early 90s. Okay, there you go. okay. So, what, let's see. 2002, where are you? All right, so... Oh, well, there you go. This came out in 2002. He also had Mr. Deeds came out in 2002. Okay. He also had Punch Drunk Love that came out in 2002, which is a Criterion movie, if you can believe. Cry- Arrow of Seller was in a Criterion movie. He was in something called... Oh, that's a short. He was in The Hot Chick. Huh. And that's technically Rob Schneider, but he did a little thing. So, yeah, this one year alone, he had three movies. And then after this, he had Anger Management. One then, year after that. Okay. And then he had 50 First Dates the next year after that. And this so, this Spain, was the beginning of his hot streak. Nah, like, he wasn't even... Nah, the beginning came way earlier. Oh. I would say the beginning of his history was Billy Madison back in 95. Ah. And Billy Madison, then Happy Gilmore, then... Oh, I forgot about Bulletproof. When is Happy Gilmore? 96. So a year ah. after Billy Madison. Okay, okay. So then there's The Wedding Singer, then The Water mm. Boy, then Big Daddy, mm. then he's in uh, Lil Nicky. Nikki. The Water Boy? 98, I'm pretty sure. Fuck, okay. Uh, n- n- 98. Lil Nicky, yeah, yeah, okay. And then Lil Nicky. Then wow. He, then Mr... I'm um, sorry, then Punch Drunk Love, and then Mr. Deeds, and then this, so... No, nah, he was already he was already hot. Put some respect on this guy's name, he and he got to deal with Netflix of... right now. He puts out like a Netflix movie like multiple a year. Yeah, his production company even so even if he's not in on it's still his production company. So I'm sure he still gets a little bit of that paper. Hmm. See how that works. He keep all his homies employed. Wow. Like honestly, for one for him, I'm pretty sure like Rob Schneider and like David Spade, I don't even know would even still be doing like leading roles David in movies. Spades, yeah, no, so no, he hooks no, his no. peoples up, which is you know commendable. I appreciate it. I won't really watch those movies, but I appreciate. it. David Spade, nah, he's not my cup of tea. I like the one he did with uh, Chris Farley, Tommy Boy and shit. That shit funny. Yeah, that was that funny. Shit, that shit. That's a... Like I said, as like the sidekick type person, it's cool. When he's like the main dude, I can't think of no movies of his I really like off the top of my head. Uh, I don't know if he has any a lot, a lot where he's the main guy. I don't know. I'd have to look that up, but I'm not going to, folks. <laughs> Boom. Because we're talking about eight crazy nights. Goddamn right. So they make his money back. Mm-hmm. Um, IMDb squad of 10, something point four. What you think this got on IMDb? This is users, so... You think people that the users Six. like it? Technically, PJ did this a 5.4. God damn it. So that's like, that's below average. So the audience didn't really care much for it either. Okay. It was 21,352 votes. It's a couple, you know, that's more than Now, PJ. Yeah. Yes. The critics. Yes. On Rotten Tomatoes out of 100%. Accumulatively, what do you think the uh, critics gave it out of 100? 43. 
way lower than that. They did not like this movie at all. 23. 12%. Oh, fuck. Their consensus is, quote, Sandler returns to his roots in this nauseating concoction filled with potty humor and product placements. Hmm. They did not like it. So 12 from the critics. Hmm. But see, the audience, maybe they liked it. What do you think the audience gave it? Think they fucked with it more? Mm, yeah. No. 65. It's lower than 65. It is rotten. 33. 49% PJ. So nobody really gives mm. a fuck, it seems like. Like, I, honestly, other than Chris, and I guess now you in the spirit, I don't know anybody that talks about this movie at, at all. I think it might have been just I don't like even, a it's thing not of even, the times. Yeah, maybe. Like a, so I'm about to say, I don't even think this plays on TV like that around Christmas time. It's not even on it. They don't even play it then, I don't think. Can they play this? Like, they they could. can edit it. They it's, play Bad Santa and shit. Uh, oh, I forgot about that movie. We, I own that God shit. God How the God. fuck? I didn't look in the comedy section, but I, <laughs> son of a bitch. There goes oh, one. Uh, well, Bad Santa can be next year then, but I do own that shit now, so. Okay. Yeah, so that, yeah, they could play it. I just, I mean, technically, like I said, it's a Hanukkah movie. Yes. But they could throw it. They could, at Christmas time, you could still throw it out there. Yeah, but yeah. they don't it's do it. Holidays. Though, so. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Uh-huh. Politically correct. There you go. One of the few times we probably will be this whole episode. PJ. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. Spirit is not here to stop us. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this is directed by Seth Kearsley. I looked him up. This thing, this I saw, this is the only movie he really directed. He directed a bunch of TV ep- cartoon episodes after this. Yeah. Yeah, I think this was his one movie from what I remember. Okay. I've been drinking all some it's starring mm-hmm. Adam Sandler, mm-hmm. Jackie Titone, Austin Stout, Rob Schneider, Kevin Neal, and John Lovitz. Did I, I? I know these names. I probably know their okay. faces. Um, just... You know Adam Sandler, the other two. Yeah. Rob Schneider. Um, you remember Waterboy? You can do it! With the, With the He had the hat yeah. and shit on? Yeah. That's Rob Schneider. He's in a, he's he's in a bunch of shit, shit. But it's, yeah, okay. Um, he's in the one where he's like married to the woman or some shit. And the one reason. Oh, Deuce Bigelow. That that's him. It. There you okay. go. That's, yes, that's him right here. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, okay. yeah that's Ross Schneider. Ah. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, this is Jackie Sandler. Oh, that's was that his wife playing the girly in the movie? Mm-hmm. It was. Oh, maybe I don't know where Jack. Well, who's Jennifer Tinto? Where did I get that name from? <laughs> it was on Wikipedia somewhere. I know I ain't tripping. I saw that fucking name. Maybe that was her name before. I don't know. Whatever. Um, Fight. Kevin Neal and I don't know if you know him as much. He's mm-hmm. a Saturday Night Live dude. I know him. Hmm. Oh, oh, um, shit. How well do you remember Happy Gilmore? Uh, yeah. Remember, at, I, like, when he started kind of first playing golf, there was a dude I was trying to kind of help him. Not the black guy, but there was a dude that was like, you know, you just got, he was like, well, you know, you just do this happy. You know, oh, I can't explain this shit. Nope. It was a little white dude. That's all right, whatever. Nope. You probably don't know him. Fuck. I'll show you his picture, see if you know him. This guy. Is he, oh, he's been in shit. Okay, so you recognize his face. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, who else? Oh, uh, who's uh, Oh, John wow. Lovitz. You, you ever seen High School High? Eh. Oh, man, I got to show you High School High. Like, eh. What? This guy. He's, he's been in shit. Yeah, he's been in a lot of Adam Sandler shit, bro. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Who the fuck was he? The uh, the guy with the hook hand. Ah. Uh, hey, it's because like, they, they kind of made the characters in the movie kind of look like the actual dudes. Of, I see it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So there you go, PJ. But you know Adam Sandler, so that's all that really matters. Boom. He's doing like a third of the fucking voices anyway. Yeah, come on. Fuck. PJ. Yes. How's it start, man? Give him that bingo. Go ahead and give him that goddamn bingo slot. Come on, PJ. Come Christmas on. Move. Come Music. on. Come on. No, I'm not giving you that. Fuck that. You got to give me more than that. Um, <laughs> That's too easy. Hold on. I always do it. Like, just give me, give me. Here. Oh, yeah, shot. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shot, 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 shot. We can't clink. Clink. It, so. Clink. Uh-huh. There you go. Pepperminty, right? Yeah. It's a refreshing mint flavor. Boom. Uh, he's getting drunk. He's getting drunk. Uh, is he getting drunk? I think he's already drunk. He's already drunk. Where is he at? Where is he at? To give me at least where he's at. A bar. What? Nope. Fuck. It's a restaurant, but of what kind? Chinese? Yes. Okay. He has a Chinese restaurant. Okay. Oh, actually, technically, his first, uh, Rob Schneider is doing narration. It has narration because it's a Christmas movie. They usually have narration. Mm-hmm. I don't know what he's talking about, so fuck it. Chinese restaurant. <laughs> What's happening there? Uh, oh, oh, Adam Sandler's name is Davy Stone. Davy. Yeah, he's he's there. He's talking. Oh, he's he's down in the noodles. Right, 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 right. And you know, the, his waiter's like, "Hey, you know, four noodles. You know, that's that's pretty expensive, right there. I'll be right back with your check. No, better yet, here goes your check. Boom, I'm gonna leave that right there." He says, "Fuck you. Let me take this last, you know, drink of this great 
broth. Broth. And I'm going to rip this receipt out? Rip the bill, not the, the receipt. Bill. Right. Bill, you know. Show us how often. All right. Do you not pay bills, PJ? Huh? You not pay bills, pay bills PJ? <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. Okay, sure, PJ. <laughs> um, you, want, you want them Dutch ass? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey. Oh, shit. Oh, I got, I got to mention, too. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I know back then, probably nobody gave a fuck. But I wonder now, if people watch this movie, how many people get upset about Rob Schneider doing the Asian guy's voice? Again, like I said, back in the day, nobody probably paid attention. But now, you know, everybody's watching. You know, they're they're they're, they're more observant uh-huh. of what's going on. Like, even me, like, back in the day, I can honestly say, I don't know if it's bad or not. I would have paid this shit no attention back when I was around. In 2002, it would have had no thought or qualm about it. Mm-hmm. But now looking at it now, I'm like, oh shit, they got Ross Snyder doing the Asian dude's voice and he's doing it stereotypical as fuck. I'm not even going to repeat it. I'm going to get fucking yelled at. That's... But let me know. I don't know. I'm curious. Hmm. I, I, I want to know. I want Is the heat know. on? Do See me that, a right? bomb ass favor and turn that shit the fuck off, bro. <laughs> Behind the flag. <laughs> I just realized it. I'm like, man, I'm hot in this bitch. I do got a jacket on and a hat. But it's All for you way, guys. Right? All the way to the left. Oh. So don't not turn that to the right. We will die. That shit ain't no joke uh, here. <laughs> PJ. I need to put my hood up just in case. Where the hood at? Where the hood, where the yeah. hood, where the hood at? Okay. How does your boy it further antagonize the waiter? Uh, I don't know. He, he says, yeah, you want to... He says something about the longest burp. Like, I'm going to break the record for the longest uh, burp. Yes. And he does a super long ass burp, PJ. Yes. I'm going to tell you right now, P. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the heater turned off my bed. I was like, what is that clicking sound? Uh, <laughs> you might have to help me out with some parts of this movie. Okay. Can. I was watching. I did watch the you shit. Were, yes, yes. He was, it just, he was it attentive. Didn't, it didn't all soak up into the mind sponge. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that mind sponge. The mind right? yeah, sponge. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm ringing it right now. Mm-hmm. All onto the microphone. Goddamn right. Can you right. hear it? Mm. Mm. There you go. That sounded that like some... That, I wasn't splacking on the microphone. Nah. Which I'm sure you would not appreciate that. No, no, I would exactly not. Exactly my point. Yes. The listeners might, but that's we got <laughs> to the OnlyFans <laughs> page. Goddamn right. Only hustle. <laughs> it's... We're, we're not in the same video, though, right? I mean, no. Oh. Not to... I mean, we are now. There's, I would not also... You know, oh, if we were only, doing OnlyFans. Only yes. How much money these niggas got now? <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, shit. I'm, I'm sorry. I've been drinking. I had to drink. Yeah. I had to. We had peppermint right. fucking shot glasses. Goddamn got right. To. Give me the damn bottle. Bro. I was about to, you know what? We're not putting There's, these to use right are, now. There are people shaking their heads listening to this right now. Like, oh, my God. We were hearing people, like, destroy themselves on the microphone. And you would be right, probably. But I'm, it's only for the night. The eyes. Ten. You want to know probably a, a little... It might not even be... I mean, it's probably a little long. We, little long. Fuck. <laughs> little known on the microphone. Uh-huh. <clears throat> But probably, you know, easy to tell. <clears throat> there have been several episodes of this podcast where me and PJ have down like a bottle and a half. It's always at least a bottle, but sometimes there's that half. Always at least a bottle. So that's why you get that good quality podcast. You know, let that, shit, right. let that shit Yeah, yeah, let him marinate. Yeah, I'm with tripping. The, see, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, see, like, I'm, I'm jumping He's ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Like, he's me out here right now. I know, right? Right? It's, it's, it's the fucking holiday spirit. It's a Christmas bliss. Ah, yes. The joy. <laughs> joy to the world. Mm. Let's get fucking drunk. PJ. Yes. So, oh, my next note. Your boy is obviously drunk as fuck. Drunker than us. Mm-hmm. And he's going out to try and get in his car. Mm-hmm. And the police is stopping him. Mm-hmm. They prohibiting him. Mm-hmm. There's a joke for people that seen the Players Club. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see? Ah, Bernie Mac, rest in peace. that right there, yeah. Why you prohibiting me, PJ? <laughs> 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 we, gotta do, we ain't done the Players Club either. No, uh, yeah. February and March is coming. Yes, uh, it is. <laughs> hold on. Let them go by. You're fucking cool. All right, so okay? I, I saw something, mm-hmm. and it was like a meme. It said, "Imagine being the type of guy who sits there and revs up his car engine and thinks that shit is cool." <laughs> I fucking die because as you hear that shit happens all the time out here. See, boys, is that what? some of y'all? Sorry, no offense taken. Hey, if so it you, is, so you just go to the gas and be like, "Hey, hit me! You gotta hit me in there." <laughs> let me say that. Yeah, let me. Yeah, I, is I, it I like a rock? <laughs> mm. Is it? <laughs> Is that why? Do you get your rocks off? Yeah. Is it for your personal satisfaction? You know, me. You know, you know, PJ, you know what that is, though. What is that? It's because you got to cover up the fact that they don't got the Magnum XLs like we do. Ah, <laughs> goddamn right. Big you ain't car. swimming out here. Yeah, you right. just 
What what, well, I guess they are swimming because it's like you got the little tiny <laughs> shrimp thing and there's that big hole right here. So it's like you just <laughs> all up in the bitch. It's like a tadpole <sighs> in the fucking w- wading in the water. Mm, wade in the water. <laughs> it's yes. like, I'm going to hit something eventually. There's a wall somewhere around mm. here and I'm going to hit it at least once. That's that Donald Trump fucking right That's there. I got the so shrimp dick. unfortunate. Yeah. I I wish I could say I, I want to know how it feels. I wish I knew your I, pain, but I really don't I want don't, to know. No, I don't want to know that. I don't want to be. Got it all really dick. Pink. <laughs> your baby nuts. <laughs> go ahead. Try that on for size. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm sorry. You can find out. Just go hit up a lot of steroids, shrink the testicles up, and then you can find out, PJ. Yeah, just Is go. that what happens? It's, I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't take steroids. Right. From, yeah. But oh. from what I've heard, yes, that shit is like, it shrink your testicle, make your pain pee smaller and shit. I don't Oh. In some cases, like, I mean, there was a movie called Pain and Gain with The Rock and Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. That guy, you know, did all those hate crimes. Ha! You'll never forget that. Um, Mark? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess PJ didn't remember. But Marky yeah. Mark? Yeah, in the Funky Bunch. Yeah, yeah, he does hate crimes. Or did hate crimes. Oh, uh, <laughs> what do he do now? He sell cars now out here in Columbus, actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what's up? Where was I going with that? Oh, there's a scene in Pain and Gain because, you know, it's a joke about a bunch of gym dudes and there's a dude that can't get his dick hard because of the steroids and shit. And I think that's oh. real life. That's so, so that's the thing. It's like, I look big as fuck. I'm muscly. I got to use a towel to wipe my ass. Yeah. But my nuts is baby nuts. I can't. It's like, I got my hemi. Fuck. You, but I got you, my dad, baby nuts. What? Yeah. Like, what do you... I would... I would I would prefer to have... Let me be politically correct. I, I heard mm-hmm. that they have dick extenders. I heard... I think the spirit was showing me pictures of this shit where it's like, your dick ain't, ain't hitting that wall or something good enough. So it's like... You put it over top. It was like a little sock type thing. You put it on like a little rubber and it has a, a dick extender on the end. So it's like almost like wearing a rubber, but with a dildo on the front of your dick. So you, when you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. this is real shit, PJ. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you. People came can for you, eight crazy nights and get dildo. So what's up? I'm sorry. Can you feel it? Is, is this a. I haven't tried you, it. PJ. I know, right? I'm asking I have no you, need like, for this product. This is. What is the point? Like, if you can't feel it, well, the then point you're is, not I think, gonna... oh, I think the thing, like I said, is from what she, from the thing, from the picture I saw, it looks like it's just like putting on a rubber, so your dick is covered, but you can still feel the pussy, but it just has extra length on it for her. You see what I'm saying? But you have to be hard in order for a for you to slide it. Yeah, but yeah. You, you get hard, you slide it on, and you can feel the walls, I guess, on your dick. But then she gets to feel that extra pin of charada. Yeah, it's say. not your top though. Like you're not. I'm not. Well, yeah, I, I don't know how that. There's probably something. There's probably something in there that like rubs up nah. against you as you rub up against her. I'm sure. I don't nah, know. You got me fucked. Well, PJ, luckily we don't. Need was, so you'll yeah, never I, have to worry yeah, about right? that, right? Fuck. But there's people out there that probably saw that. I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you say what now? What's oh this? God. I can please my wife. <laughs> Five long years. Oh, yes, you can. Honey, I hope you're ready to get frisky tonight. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, no. See what happens? Well, I ain't got much to say about the movie. I start talking about this type of shit. I mean, it's a quick movie. Huh? It's a quick movie. Huh? It's not like... (laughs) said, huh? (laughs) Huh? I was like, nah, you right. right. It's It's hour 16. Technically, it was hour 12 because, you know, Uh, I have credits. Yes. So it's even shorter than that. Yeah. But PJ, where, mm. I, where do, oh, oh, my, the note, the note, no, 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 the note. He goes out to try and get in his car. Mm-hmm. And of course, he's scraping the door all up because he's drunk. Mm-hmm. The cops come in like, hey, P- hey, not PJ, damn. Hey, Davey. <laughs> uh-huh. Freudian slips. The police come in there like, hey, man, you know you ain't about to drive home, right? And he's like, nah, nah, I'm just, I'm just going to give it, you know, show us some love before I go. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say goodbye. And he starts saying goodbye. But then he comes back and starts humping the car. Yes. Something about that car humping. He, he goes around back to the back of the, you know, where the trunk is. And uh, just kind of, you know. So is he sticking his dick inside the it. trunk keyhole or is he sticking his dick inside the, the muffler? Uh, but it would have to be <laughs> the, the keyhole. exhaust pipe. It would have to be the keyhole. And you get low on that ass. You know, do, do your squats. Ah, see what he you Put your pingus in hey, there. right? Put a banana in the tailpipe. <laughs> ah, ah, come on. Bye bye bye. Yeah, I don't know. He started humping the car. It reminded me of the fucking My Strange Addiction episode where the dude was literally yes. fucking his car. Yes. And I don't care. They didn't shoot sure. it like, oh, he, he was just in love with the car. He wasn't fucking it. No, fuck you. He was laying under it. He was kissing it. He was putting his banana in that goddamn <laughs> tailpipe. I don't give a fuck what nobody uh, say. He found God. a slot in there to put his dick somewhere. If it wasn't a tailpipe. Or 
He put it in between them seats. He implanted the fleshlight under there. Oh my god! I don't just... you gay? This nigga, this motherfucker, this is this episode. Like, my god, he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Why haven't I thought of that yet? Yeah, right. Dad, give me my flashlight. Uh, my flashlight. <laughs> that's it. Was he, was he staying at home with his parents? I can't remember now in that episode. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me. Either. I remember just him kissing all over the fucking he's, he's car. Because oh, he he was... his dad was looking at him disgusted. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Why did not nut on the pillow? <laughs> <laughs> you could have been the nut I if wasted. If your mother had just let me bust in her fucking face <sighs> like I wanted. <laughs> if she was just a swallower, <laughs> you would have to have this issue. Mmm. That's all bad. <laughs> God damn it. PJ. Mm-hmm. What? The, what? Oh, oh, he. They, I think the cops are like laughing at him or some shit. Mm-hmm. But then the Asian dude comes out and is like, "Yo, he he dined and dash. He didn't pay his tab. So mm-hmm. now it's, a, it's he's running from the cops. Mm. And that's you just get him singing and annoying the townspeople pretty much. Yes, this is the like official kind of start of the movie. I was like, of course, it's yeah, the first sing along. Question, question. Okay, Beyonce, what's up? Your uh, <laughs> oh, that's a throwback. Shit. That's Destiny's Child. That that's true, not even yeah. her. Question. Right? Tell oh, me what you I wonder if they got me. that. Did y'all I come with that? I found my own diamonds and I found my own ring. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm a man, independent. Throw your hands up at me. Y'all know that song, right? Yep. Question. Um, do you not like Christmas movies? Because they're so simple, but it's just the drawn out Christmas carols and the extraness it's the empathy that is the cheerfulness yes the jolly the, the joy. Holly, jolly <laughs> fuckness of it yes um i don't know it's because i, I mean probably because as i think about i'm thinking of what christmas movies does brent like mm-hmm. and all of them have a tone of like almost like this movie even has it but it has a tone of like fucked upness i'll say humbug humbug ah, that was a christmasy word yes. for it yes because <laughs> think about jingle all the way is all about like commercialism and consumerism and all yes. that. It's like, oh, I'm only going to make this kid happy, so I got to go fuck around town all day to get this stupid-ass, cheap-ass, stupid yes. toy yes. that PJ can probably say he's only going to play with for like a month. Literally. And then he's going to be done with it. Out the window, on to the next. God oh, fuck that. It. Oh, that's out? No, no, fuck that. Turbo <laughs> Man 2 is out. Fuck this yes. toy. Go get the new one, Pops. Mm-hmm. And I love, so I love that movie. Mm-hmm. It's mean spiritedness. Mm. Might be the, another thing. Mm. It's, it's always sometimes because yes. like you got your boy him and Sinbad beefing, yeah. and they getting trampled and all that shit. So sometimes, some, some typically some type of violence. Some type of violence. So like even with and then of course Home Alone. What the fuck is Home Alone? That's a song That's movie a, for kids. Yeah, yeah so, you, you, we're going to get in this bitch. No, you're going. going to, you're going uh, to die in this set bitch. Set traps. Like, yeah, right. Like, this was real life. Like you getting bricks thrown in your fucking face <laughs> from a it. fucking twenty story building. <sighs> you're fucking dead. Tarred and feathered. Come exactly. On, Fucking irons. getting your head third, fourth, fifth, twentieth degree burns. Yeah. And shit. Come on. Yeah. Okay. So again, that. Mm-hmm. I mean, what other Christmas movies do I like? Mm-hmm. Other than you know, like I mean, Die Hard and shit. You already know that's action movie. So I want. Yes. Try to think of like Guns. movies that can be technically Christmas movie. Scrooge. You like Scrooge? The Bill Murray movie. But think about Never it. Never seen it. Oh. It's basically <laughs> a Christmas Carol, mm-hmm. but with the mean spirit in this in there because Bill Murray's an asshole. So who is he? He's the one who comes he's, get, get he's visited. Like, he's the Scrooge, yeah. Ah, we, oh man, I don't have it under the tree, but fucking ah, one, one, yeah, one, right. One, yeah, one, there's right. always next year. Boom. So that one, I mean, what other Christmas movie? The Grinch, the Jim Carrey Grinch, is all about an asshole. Yeah, that, that, that one's actually talk funny. shit to kids. Yes. Exactly. Ah. So again, that's another one with, with the mean spirit in this undertone. Yeah, that. But dope. see, then you get like it's a wonderful life, and I'm like, ah, uh-huh, ah, uh-huh, dying. It best part, of that, best part of that movie is like watching them dance. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. It was, it was, what other real oh, Christmas movies have we wow. done? I don't even know if I think that's the only like true, honest to God Christmas movie we've ever watched. No. Where's my phone? Where's my fucking phone? You no, know that. I mean, technically, Jack like, Frost. Oh, the cartoon. Oh, and the, no, oh, the oh, yeah. We, oh, yeah. I did. The, I did that by myself. I did the cartoon Jack Frost by myself. The that's Jack right. Frost. But the Snowman movie. That's right. So two. Yeah. Um. Fuck Jack Frost two. That movie. Come on. Fuck that movie, PJ. Um, that's why you have it. That is why I have it. So let me see. Okay, so Jack Frost, like I said, Home Alone and Jingle All the Way. They're yeah, just, like, that was it. But I'm I'm not gonna count them because I, okay. I want to know just the straight like cheerful right. ass. Give me the feel. Bullshit. I got so you got you. It's a Wonderful Life. Okay. And Jack Frost. So okay. Let's keep. Let's continue to that next year. Come on. Um, wait for it. We got Friday after next year. Count. No. 
Silent Night, Deadly Night. Ah, Christmas Story. Boom. Three. Okay. One per year. So we'll have one this year, right? The Jack Frost cartoon I did. Huh? See? Elf. Ah. I think I can count that. Yes. So five. Okay, so five. Yeah. And then this year. Yeah, so far, because I'm not going to count this either. So we got okay. five real, real true Christmas movies, I think. Okay. And, you know, I still would throw Home Alone and Jim all the way in there. That's know? it. Yeah, okay. But I'll, to answer your question from the beginning, <laughs> probably, because that singing shit does get annoying after a while also. There's one song in this one where it started out good, and then the more it went on, I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, I, saw the, I saw the chant. How he says, I lean back, he hit the side pose. Like, all right. Just like, just, yeah. <laughs> like, I was just enduring The, the little right spot in between your thumb and index finger just on my chin resting on your side. Ah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I see. So, oh, nice. So, yes. I got to take this hat off I'm hot. Yeah, um, <laughs> got that. You look like, uh, oh, is it like formed or um, something? Damn. Did it, did it make a circle with my hair? Like Frederick Douglass. <laughs> <laughs> just we'll see PJ I think of this movie mm-hmm. alright uh, where are we <laughs> I'm not even gonna I'm gonna leave it like that too okay uh, <laughs> oh he's singing and annoying the townspeople mm-hmm. so I mean I don't think as much else other than that no thing. he's he's the town asshole pretty yes. much yes Nobody but it's likes a small him. town. So yeah, 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 yeah everybody, everybody know knows other. him he was as you later come to find out they're all born and raised there you know it's one of those types it's your dad and mom lived here, moved here, and they had kids, and now you have kids, and they're still here. You know, this is like 50 years, 60 years. We're just in like this. Like Snoop Dogg, they never left. Ah, goddamn right. Look at that. Yes. Yes. Davey's in court. Mm-hmm. About to get, he's about to get done up for 10 years, right? Mm-hmm. But there's a character named Whitey. Yes. And I'm not saying that'd be funny. That's his fucking name. Yes. He steps up. And tells him, like, yo, if you don't get this motherfucker that 10 years, I'll look after him for... What was the actual arrangement? Do you remember? I know he was like, I'll look after him. But then the judge is like, yo, if you fuck up, you're going to get this 10 years, though. Yes, that was you remember? the arrangement. I mean, is there nothing more than that? Like, there's no... You can't trust up. Oh. Well, what did the dude say he was going to do for him? He's like, I'm just going to watch over him and make sure he don't fuck up. Is that what... Is that what is that I'm going to be his helper. Oh. I will reform him. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, that's it. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. He's the probation officer, if you will. Ah, okay. mm. there you go, P.O. Yeah, right? Corrections office. Hey. Yeah. Uh, PJ, my next note. <laughs> we'll get this reference. My next note is that Waddy's a young wild stallion, older mm. than 23 years old. He popped it from the back and Davy saw that hairy asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets the Pimp C references here? Uh, That's a real song, PJ. I'm not enjoying I'm not even fucking with you. Oh. Hold on. All right. That do you want to know the name of the song? You want to know the name of the it? song? What? It's called Harry Asshole. Oh. <laughs> it's got Lil Boozy and I think Webby. Oh. You said Pimp C? UGK, Lil Boozy, and Webby. So this is like, oh. This is newer. Like, I mean, well, you know, Pimp C died like 06, 07. Though. Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's like, around that period. Yeah, so yeah, like, okay. Like, yeah, that's came what I meant while it was. Yeah, when they, they, were when they all, first came back. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right there, hold on. If Come on. on. Oh, I just told you. I'll be singing this to the spirit all the time. <laughs> oh. Might be a new one for me. Yeah. Sorry, that's my. Yeah. Pimpsy. Rest in peace, Pimpsy. That's my nigga. Man. Yeah. Rest in peace. All right. But yes, that's a real song, PJ. Oh, but yeah, right. but the joke is that uh, yeah. he's in the locker room. They're getting ready because your boy Whitey like the referees basketball games and shit. Mm-hmm. And he's getting he's changing to his referee outfit. And he's like got a super hairy ass. Yes. He's got a hairy ass. Well, he's hairy. Well, he's all over, but at this yeah. point, they're just showing his ass. Yeah. That's the joke, PJ. Like, oh, look at, that uh-huh. hairy, look at that hairy ass. I see. Yeah. Okay. And you find out, PJ, mm-hmm. that your boy Whitey, all he wants in life is to get this all-star patch thing, which is what? It's like a town commemorative, like, yearly event patch. Yes. You get this for going above and beyond. The town recognizes mm-hmm. you as that nigga yes. in the town for that year. Yes. You get the key to the city for it. There you go. That's it. Okay. Key to the city being this patch that you put on your jacket. Goddamn right. There you go. 
So he wants that. Mm-hmm. And these they start refereeing the b-ball game, PJ. Mm-hmm. And they they immediately start. He, your boy Davey is dissing the fat kid. Is that a triggering thing to say nowadays? Can I not say fat kid? Do I have to say the gluttonous youngster? No, I don't know. I'm just being That's an it. asshole. I'm sorry. I was about to say, come on. <laughs> I don't know, man. What the yeah. fuck makes people mad at him? You know, the funniest thing, man, uh, Dave Chappelle did a stand-up. Not stand-up, but he hosted Saturday Night Live. You know, that I was, saw that. Did you watch it? Yes. That, that shit was funny. Yes, I remember at one point he said a joke, and the crowd kind of went, ooh, like, did I trigger you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, I love that shit. Yeah. Because he, he called it. him out on that shit. It's like, bro, I'm making like, come jokes. Come on, that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm taking everything so serious, like, God damn it. Why are people so triggered? Like, what is... Never mind. Well, I mean, you don't want to go the the usual route and be like, "Oh, these motherfuckers are just so sensitive nowadays." The people are. Is just, that not what it is, though? You know, I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to think of uh, another way to say it. Okay. But if the spirit was here, she would give you the real terms. You know, she knows all the terms uh, and shit. Yes, 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 yes. But I just look at. It, I guess people are more observant of the types of humor people have, and they might not like it very much. I don't fucking know. I just know uh, the shit that they all that I laughed at. <laughs> And I, most times when people say jokes that people, oh, I like when Bill Burr was on there. And there was, yeah. he had a whole backlash on the shit he was saying. I was fucking dying. Bill Burr is hilarious. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm He's saying. A, it's just like. And he says stuff about black guys. So, like, it's not like it's. Shit, Bill Burr, cool. Shit, he's on, he was on the Chappelle show a, multiple yeah, times. Yeah, right? I was just watching the World Series of Dice sketch. He was one of the announcers and shit up there. Was he? Yeah, he was one of the, he was the dude that was like, I saw this coming to my way, so I hit my keys up my ass. He was like, <laughs> uh, I feel boy. But yeah, I don't know, man. That's why I always like shit like Chappelle showing like the boondocks and shit. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. Everybody gets the jokes, though. It's not just one well, It's like everybody like gets it. That's what I'm saying. It ain't just like folk targeting on you, motherfuckers. Yeah. It's just like, no, everybody gets it. Dude. Everybody gets the jokes. That's you're right. not specific. Like, I mean, there are there can be mean-spirited jokes. Be like, all right, that's that. It's sometimes you're it's like, all right, yeah, yeah. You, you're doing yeah. too much. But no, sometimes it'd be like jokes that'd be funny. And I'd be like, ah, ha, ha. And somebody's like, that's not funny. I'm like, why? <laughs> did I trigger you? <laughs> exactly. That's the, did no. I trigger you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yes. yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, okay. I just wonder though. I just I say it, but I don't want nobody to be like, "Oh, you you can't say that." Like, what? What? Why not? You, you tell me, me why fat. I'm like, yeah, you right. Goddamn, nigga, I don't give a fuck. See, that I was... still get but you know. If you heard that, I just slapped. Uh, <laughs> don't slap your shit too hard, man. Yeah, you, they heard that. I'm yeah, yeah sure. I heard that, so they heard that. That was yeah. Just, uh, PJ already then got humbled by Sun Sun. So you better quit hitting your damn Damn, chest, right? Man. So like, what the fuck? PJ, oh, PJ found body. just how old we're getting. Yes. His son jumped on his back, and I heard this motherfucker had, like down there getting that out of yelp. <laughs> it hurt. I man. was helping. I was. I got an Xbox from my brother. I took it to PJ to, mm-hmm. to hook it up for him. I'm sitting there getting shit right now. I just here. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck was that? Down goes Frazier. I couldn't. My whole. I looked over. You was just laying on the ground or some <sighs> shit. No, you was like leaning forward real hard, just looking at me like. I was like, what? He's like, you guys like, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my whole shit just went down. It went numb. I can't. It's a because I just heard you say, "Oh, he definitely popped something." <laughs> so she, <laughs> sounded like an old man. Oh yeah, that was it. I was like, well, you younger one. than me, man. Uh, like, hey, right? Not by I mean, a few months, I guess. But <sighs> damn. I mean, I'm not back. But, but see, know, I I'm, talk shit. But then I was literally getting everything prepped to get the tree and shit set up in the corner because we needed room. Yes. And I was like moving stuff around. And then I sat down for a second. I was looking at my phone. And then I got up and it felt like the gravity pulled back on my ass. <laughs> the top upper left, like upper yes. butt cheek. Yes. And that pulled a muscle hard as fuck. Through. I let out a yelp. Yes. And PJ heard it because I forgot that it was hurt. And I got up real fast to go get some drinks and shit from across the street. And I was like, oh. Yes. I was so, like, yeah. Sound like me yesterday. Now I say the karma. I was laughing at the PJ. Now Six. my ass hurt. Mm, funny. I think I broke my ass. I think I broke my back. Good burger joke. Yeah. <laughs> good burger line. See, we ain't done good burger. That, yeah. All right. When Abe mm. go they threw the old. Or the old man jumped out the window. Remember that shit when they was in like the nut house and they all jumped out the window and shit. He said, "I think I broke my ass." Yeah. Because I think after after. They got out there. He was like, are you all right? And he was like, I think I broke my ass or some shit like that. I don't always be laughing yeah, as a kid. Yeah, I want to say yeah. I got it upstairs. We can watch it one day. There are the V, of course. Not. I got DVD. I don't got the VHS. Yes. The orange tape. Yeah. yeah. God, is that because it's Nickelodeon? Yes. The only Nickelodeon yes. had orange tapes. That I know of, yeah. Okay. I think Johnny Mnemonic had an orange fucking tape. 
Johnny it's a Keanu, Keanu Reeves movie uh, that nobody liked that I fucking love that movie oh we okay. will watch that one day because I forgot about Johnny Mnemonic fuck throw it in the bag PJ yes is that the, oh no 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 that's not the movie I'm thinking of I'm thinking of Tank Girl I was about to say that movie that's the movie where Ice-T was a fucking kangaroo that's Tank Girl I think or is it is it Ice what the fuck hold on now I gotta look this up this guy was Ice-T and Johnny Mnemonic if you said Johnny Tsunami, I would have had you right off the rip. But no, Ice-T as a kangaroo, I just can't see. So, I am not might be tripping. I don't know. I don't feel like looking at it all that deep right now. He's in, I know he's in Tanger as a kangaroo. I'm pretty sure it's that movie. Mm-hmm. But whatever. Fuck all that. Yes. Come on, you crazy nice. Yes. PJ. Mm-hmm. Kid gets fouled. Your boy Daddy talks shit to him. Guys start crying. And then I think Whitey says something to him. And I don't know what the fuck happens. I know this nigga just start having a seizure. What the fuck caused him to have a seizure this time? I can't. Oh, he was running too much. Right? Is that how? I don't remember. I'm not asking you. <laughs> uh, I just know he started having know. a seizure. Because one kid was like, yo, is he break dancing? Yeah. Like, he was either running too much or it was, was something strenuous on his body. It was like the strenuous activity okay. got to him. Here's a, You want to know a fun fact about Brent's opinion in this movie? I'll give you early. Uh-oh. All the parts where this nigga has a seizure are the funniest parts of this movie to me. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how bad that sounds. Oh, Anytime this nigga has a seizure in this movie, Brent is laughing. Oh, yes. He, and this got the biggest chuckle. laughs yes. out of me the whole movie every yes. time. Uh, it never got old. Huh. I guess I enjoy seeing people have seizures. I'm sorry. Old man. In this movie. Cartoon. See, he's clarifying. In this Here movie, I laugh at the fucking scene. That's politically correct right there. I think. That's, we'll find out, won't we? He'll tell me, won't you? Right. <laughs> Twitter exists. Are we still here? Um, Are we canceled yet? <laughs> Huh? Surprisingly not. Huh? We're good, PJ. Right. Yeah. I'm waiting on it, though. One day, one day something gonna happen. We're gonna say something. Or we may have already even said something. They'll go back and listen. Yes. It's five years from now. And be like, nigga, back. I said that five years ago. What like, the fuck? I don't I'm remember change, man. Anymore, okay? <laughs> shit. PJ, we're probably digging a hole for ourselves right now as we speak. PJ. Because that's exactly what I'm gonna say. Yes, you're right. Yes. Tell you in advance. Look, you ain't gotta say nothing. We just mm-hmm. told you. Right? We're in the future. <laughs> but we're in present. <laughs> PJ. Yes. We go to the mall. Mm-hmm. My note is that product placements every fucking where. Mm-hmm. A staple of the fucking Adam Sandler movies to this day. I never knew. I was never I, I talk point them out. Now you're going to notice it. I bet you now. Every movie you watch it is. It's going to be there. Because I'm telling you, like, even I say all the way back to Happy Gilmore when he did the da- goddamn Subway commercial yeah, in the movie. I like, never knew. The, what the fuck? The movie with the one with Al Pacino had him singing about Dunkin' Donuts. What is that movie called? Jack and Jill, maybe? Is that what that movie's called? Mm-hmm. Where he was playing like he, he was playing himself in the system. I don't know. Some stupid ass movie. Mm. I don't know. But I know there's usually product placement in all his fucking movies because I think that might be Kelly where he gets some of his paper from. I'm sure. Goddamn right. Because I know one of his movies is like an ocean liner or like, or like a cruise liner or some shit too. He probably got, you know, whatever, Carnival Cruise maybe, some shit like that. That's over, over the board? Over, over the or, no, that was eighty nine. It wouldn't uh, have nothing that early. That uh, like not or no, something. It might be one of the movies he produced. But no, he got the the Happy Madison production company and uh, shit. Okay, so maybe he's one of some else. But I sounded that umbrella. Okay, Ella A A A P J. Never <laughs> thought he would say that one. Fun facts. Mm-hmm. I never cared for that song. Uh, My grandmother knew that and would sing it just to piss me off every time it rained outside. Uh, She's like, "You're not gonna grab your umbrella, Ella A A." <laughs> <laughs> no, Granny. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I got a hood. Ah, you grabbed oh, the umbrella. Hoodies up. That's all right. Where the hood at? Goddamn right. PJ product placement everywhere. Mm-hmm. There's a joke where the the fat kid from before is trying on a bra, and they're like, "Hey, you're not supposed to be hearing these." Like he starts crying and runs off. That's the joke. <laughs> And now my next note is love interest and son because I knew from the point the point that this girlie popped up on screen like she's That's gonna be the one to change. Yes. I'm gonna be a change man. See, was it? It wasn't her though, right? Like it. It was, so was like it was a. But you know, it, it helped because you know the card had him and her in the picture together. Uh, had his first yeah. kiss with girl you know, yeah. on the swings and shit. Yeah. Did you? You asked me about this before. If there was like you had like the young love scenarios, we talked about this before, right? Had to have. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we yeah. did. I told you I had nothing. Yeah. And I told you I, I got had... Brick got no love. Brick got no love. Brick got no love. Cool mm-hmm. key reference. What you about to say? <laughs> I told you I had yes. a young love. Yeah, yeah, we talked about it before. Uh, okay. I don't know what episode. Go listen back to all of them. Yeah, They're fine. Okay. But yeah, so you got love interest. Mm-hmm. And your boy Whitey's giving the backstory. He's like, yo, her husband left her for mm-hmm. another woman. Mm-hmm. So now it's just her and Sunshine. 
God damn. They said, you keep the kid. I don't want that. I'm going to go get this bag. I don't want that. No. You got to take care of that shit. Yes. Uh, you push that, you take care of it. Oh, you son of a bitch. He's the bad guy. He's not even in this movie. Uh, yes. <laughs> PJ. Yes. Mm-hmm. The mayor mm-hmm. introduced to him. Can you remember anything about the mayor? He's not really a big character. I thought he was going to be some like kind of big bad guy this whole movie, but he's really not. He's really nothing. Yeah, to the end. There's really no main like antagonist. I think your boy Davy is the antagonist of the whole movie. He doesn't really need a bad guy. He is the bad guy. The whole movie is about mm. the bad guy becoming the good guy. So I guess mm. you need no antagonist. He is antagonized. So that's and a protag. Christmas movie. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. You know, it's a wonderful life. Is all about you know. I want to fucking die. Yes. But then it's like oh, yes. I want to live again, Clarence. You know, like, Clarence. Clarence. Yes. Clarence. Come on. I want to live. Ah. Clarence is like. No! <laughs> Go to hell, bitch. Uh, that's the extended director's cut. Uh, Home video hustle director. Uh, nice. Then what else? What else we got? Oh, Turbo Man. All right, Turbo. Jingle all the way. Uh-huh. I, I, I went through all this. Oh, no, I guess I can't use that example because Sinbad was kind of the antagonist in that movie. Yes. So, no, I won't use that example. No, no. Oh, oh, we, no. Oh, was it Melton? You can't, you cut Melton? Yeah. Oh, you just forgot it was in there? No, it started. It it's, wasn't filled to the top. Oh, that shit leaking. Okay. I, I drunk mine already. So I don't know. But yes, he is the antagonist. PJ. Okay. So the mayor just ends up being just some kind of background character. That's why I don't remember anything. But then why do he start singing, PJ, in the mall? You remember what he sang about in the mall? Um, no. Can't well, moving it. the fuck mm. on. Stolen peanut brittle, PJ. In the car. Yes. Tell him about that shit, P. All right. He's getting a ride home. Yeah. And uh, Whitey's like, hey. That peanut butter looks uh, kind of good. How's it tasting? Tastes oh, good. does it taste what? like a thief? Huh? Does it taste stolen? Does it? Uh, yeah, that's what I peep. That's what I get out. He's like, I, I, I ain't see you. I ain't peep you pay for that. That's it. He's like, yeah, you didn't. Because <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> that's it. And so he's, that's when your boy starts having a seizure behind the wheel. Mm-hmm. And then he's, yeah, stop the car. You know what? Get the fuck out. Hey, thanks. My home is right here anyway. Did so. you walk the rest of the way home? He's like, well, thanks. My house is right there, you dumbass. <laughs> he's like, oh. Well, that's that. And, oh, so he goes in, you know, but he's... He going in. He going in. I was like, what the fuck? Reference is this guy from? You probably didn't listen to it back in the day. Ah, yeah, that's <laughs> one. That's yep. definitely one. You see? Um, Adam Sandler goes in his house. Yes. Whitey is stuck out in the snow. His car is stuck, yeah. Yeah, yep. tires. He said, at least give me some sand or something. Adam Sandler's like, huh, middle fingers. Uh, he goes in <laughs> and... He's something's on the TV. He unplugs it. He says it's a happy Hanukkah. It's all viewers of Channel Four, and he's like, "Boo!" and yeah. unplugs it. Yes, yes, yes. And he just his amusement for the night is listening to the Whitey. Car stuck. Yeah, but this is where we first get the deer. Yeah, were they, were they deer or they just reindeer? Were they reindeer or deer? Oh. No, they weren't reindeer. They had a big ass hooves or not hooves, antlers thing, whoever. the fuck. I thought that was just a male in it. I don't, maybe I don't, I don't fucking know. Who knows? Who knows? It's deer, reindeer either way, it's deer, here. reindeer, deer, right. whatever. Bambi right. ass out there. <laughs> yes, and he has a special connection with the deer. So he <laughs> asked them, "Hey, <laughs> he has a special connection with special, <laughs> special connection." What I said? Yes. You said special connection. <laughs> maybe my we been drinking the peppermint. You know? Yeah. See the, the snaps. Like what happened? <laughs> the snaps. I said, "Wait oh, for oh, it." Oh, the snaps. Actual, yeah. Snaps. Peppermint and the snaps. It's going to be great. <laughs> But he asked the deer to give him a push out. Of course, the deer got your old man, and he's out of there. Yes, sir. He find out he lives with his sister, Eleanor. Ah, she yes. worried about his ass. Yeah. I don't remember what else happened in that. Oh, they oh they do the shit where they put their feet inside the hot water, and then your boy, like, she starts playing. What was that? The, what, she play, what was she playing? The trombone? Trombone, yes, oh, yes. yes. And he falls asleep. Mm-hmm. Later on, you find out that to make money, he do he do hustling. He got to go in an odd job. Right. Yes. Trying to put a star on top of a tree. And of course, he bumble fucks his way from the top and hits the ground. Yes. And they're like, yo, you want to do some extra work? How about you go clean out them porta potties for a dollar? He's like, I got you, son. Mm-hmm. He's cleaning out the porta potties. But then your boy Davey busts out of one Earl and shit. And he's like, yeah, yeah, you fucking up, ain't you? Yeah. You're getting drunk again, ain't you, Davey? Yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, man. Pushes his ass out of the porta potty, knocks it down the hill. Mm-hmm. Your boy Whitey gets out with shit all over him. Yes. And he does the poop sickle line that I knew from the trailer. He sprays him all. He's like, Oh, you want me to clean you off? But you see, he's using the uh, water. He's using the spraying with water in the mm-hmm. cold. Mm-hmm. So he's going to turn into ice. Yes. But he has poop on it. Yes. So he's poop sickle. Ah. Now there's the joke. Get it. <laughs> of 
Of course. But the deer, once again, come to help his ass. Mm-hmm. How they help him, PJ? You know, just go ahead and lick off the water with the poop inside yeah, of it. Yeah, the two girl in a cup is ass. Oh, shit. You remember that? Did you ever look at that video? I did. Yeah, I didn't too. know. I, that, that How was... how long did you watch it? Oh, as soon as, as, soon as the shit started. I, nah, nah, we're done. Literally, as soon as the shit started. Nah, fuck that. See, your boy Brent is interested in shit. <laughs> Where is this going to go? Mm-hmm. What is the plot? Mm-hmm. So I didn't watch the whole thing, but I did skip through it to see what happened. Mm-hmm. So I got to the end and I was like, ah, so that's how it ends. How does it end? I don't remember. It was years ago, PJ. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> but, oh, ha, joke, but, but yes, I wonder if people <laughs> remember that shit anymore. Like, do y'all remember got two to. girls in a cup? Is you that like, that's an old, that's a boomer reference now, huh? Millennial. We're oh, millennials. Oh, no, but that's the thing. You say, oh, shit. They're like, okay, boomer. Ah, See, there's a boomer. Ah, yes, okay. Fuck. We're not that old. We're not. We're getting there, but we're not that old. Yeah. Two girls in a cup, PJ. Man, uh, you probably <laughs> thought about that. I haven't. Sure, I right? haven't since that was a thing. Start licking that shit. Yes, no. folks. That's what it was. They were licking shit. <laughs> Poop play. Okay. There's a video that came out. <sighs> it was a porn star talking about how much she loved to do shit on her chest. And she was like, sometimes like when she would have do hit like oh shit. And she was like, no, don't flush it yet. I want to see it. Are you serious? Yes. I'm dead ass serious, bro. Dead ass uh, serious. <laughs> I... Hey, well, what would you do, PJ? Nah, we got you, nope. about, you about to get some PJ. You about to get this pussy. She fine as hell. You don't want to fuck her for a while. But then she looks at you. Why you fucking her dick is in there. You thrusting it in there. Hitting mm-hmm. them walls. Making yeah. her moan. And then she's like, PJ, shit on my chest. <laughs> and, you, uh, and you're like, oh, you mean Buster's not? She's like, no, no, shit on my chest. Yeah. What do you do? Do, do, do. Bitch, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> what if you're at her house? house? Huh? What if you're at her house? Oh, I'm gonna leave. Exit stage left. Sorry. So, so the pussy good and you deep in that shit. Yeah. I'm not deep. far from nothing. And she tells you, this is, you just hit the... Yeah, sorry, I, I don't know. I gotta go. Yeah, <laughs> that's where you lost me. Okay, I'm. I, yeah, no. I, I can't even. I'm a. I'm a private pooper. Like you know, I don't even poop in public. <laughs> Put that. That's on I'm a, a t-shirt. Private I'm pooper. a private that's pooper. It. Yes. With a picture of PJ on the toilet, <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah. Door closed. Yes. Me in my house. Nowhere else. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Yeah. No. No, sorry. So that's it, okay? Yeah, no. You on the other Regina hand, Regina Hall, PJ, want you to shit on her chest? I can't hit that pussy. I'm sorry. I Damn, wouldn't be, I that's, can't. that's crazy. Yeah, right. I can't produce anything. My body would just. Ah, uh, well. Ah, uh, well, there you go, ladies. Don't ask PJ to shit on your chest. Goddamn right. What you about to say? I don't want to. I cut you off. I said you on the other hand. Oh, well, you I, were deep in. If I if a girl lights on me, then. Mm-hmm. First of all, I wouldn't do it. I'm with spirit. Hey, you see? Yeah, brownie points. Look at that. Uh, Look at that right there. But single days. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Well, baby, what did I eat today? Because <laughs> you might get a brick and you might get a storm, mm. nigga. Like Taco Bell. Ooh, you don't want that. Mm. You don't want yeah. that, man. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be just on your chest, baby. <laughs> you don't want that. I'll tell you right now, okay? Be like, girl, you think you want it? <clears throat> Don't, don't, I'd be like, girl, close your mouth. Don't sit. Please. <laughs> ah. <laughs> She's be laying there, just, her, and it's just all in her face, just <sighs> like nut sprayer with shit. Oh my so God, bad. this is a vulgar podcast, PJ. I this just realized is. that. It's all bad. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for y'all oh, even imagining that. Shit. What? Oh my God, you did just give people images of me shitting on a girl, and I, I, I love you for it. But, because <laughs> that's all they'll think about. Um, <sighs> You got a question from Mike Backford. Do not let me forget that. Oh. He wants you, like, how we used to do, like, he give you the, the plot and you make, or he gives you a topic. Oh, make it work? Yes. He got one for you. You asked for one and he got you one. Okay. Uh, also, I know, I, I got know something this. else for you from Stephen Izzy. Okay. You asked him for something and he actually came through with it today as the episode came out. We'll talk about it. Don't, don't worry about it. Okay. We got to get through this movie, PJ. We right, talked about go. enough shit on the titties let's already. Go. Oh, yeah. Ha. See what he did there. Yes. Okay. PJ. Yes. Uh, why did he fall from the tree? He was throwing up. Poop sickle. Mm-hmm. De- oh, yeah. The deer licked him free. That's how we start talking about that. Mm-hmm. Davey mm-hmm. and uh, Whitey go to the basketball court. 
Love interest. Who was her name? Jennifer. That's her name. She's at the basketball court. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah. I, know, I saw the name down there. Oh, okay. Name. Yeah. <laughs> okay. She, she, his son is there because his boy is like, yo, why are we here? He's like, man, I'm going to. I want you to watch the game, and I'm going to teach you all the refereeing, like, tricks and shit. I'm going to teach you how this shit works mm-hmm. so you can make the right calls. Mm-hmm. He's like, what's this little bitch-ass motherfucker doing down here? <laughs> it's basically how he said it. Without mm-hmm. saying it that way, but mm-hmm. the dude is like, oh, I'm watching you for his mama. Mm-hmm. Mom's at work. You know, got to pull two shifts because his bitch-ass daddy ain't there. That's Left right. the little kid a bastard out here. Somewhere shitting on some woman's chest somewhere and not taking care of his son. Right. Ah. But. Yes. They're down. I think. Oh, they're talking real loud. He's saying something about how he was this good basketball player. And there's some little thug down there. Mm-hmm. It's like, yo, I bet you can't do that shit now. Let's play, nigga. Mm-hmm. Bring your ass down here. You an old man. Come down here and get this work. It's like, all right, fuck it. You know? I'm still that nigga out here. Let's go, old man. Me and you on the court. But then don't the old man have a seizure? Yes, he does. He has a fucking seizure. Yes, he does. He Brent, was ready, too, though. At he first, was. he was. Yeah, oh, because oh, oh, he was out there. And he thought he was going to make the shine. And your boy's like, no. <laughs> That shit out of here. Yeah. And your boy starts having a seizure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so he's he, like... He subs in the boy. His name is Benjamin. Yeah, Little like boy's name is Ben. Like okay. the rat that Michael Jackson sang about. God, he leads like a Ben. I can see a Ben. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He gets subbed in. <laughs> and he's, your boy, he's, he's uplifting the self-esteem of young Ben. Because mm-hmm. Ben ain't shit on the court. But he's teaching him. He's like, flex the elbows, you know. Mm. Jump shot. Pass it to me. Put Shoot elbow the ball. In. Yes. That's it. Yes. Put the elbow in. Mm-hmm. And he starts making shots. They end up whooping the bully's ass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And your boy, he even tells him, he's like, yo, what do we got to say? He's like, you got sir, bitch. Or mm-hmm. some shit. I don't know what he says. I just know he ends it with bitch. Because mm-hmm. they're old because the mom is watching. And she's like, oh, man, you know, maybe Davey ain't so bad. And now she got her son. I heard yelling, bitch. There you like go. Like it's a two short song. God damn. Why you gotta say it like short? Bitch! Ooh. What's my favorite word? Bitch! You didn't say it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was. <laughs> no. I thought they got the reference. You never heard that song? Yeah, I heard it. I was like, yeah, that's all right. Nope. I'm sorry. I ain't gonna play it then. If I say, you told me. I'm sorry. I'm just making sure. Nick, I'm, I'm checking your creed. Oh, I see. I see. No. I'm... Your juice, Nick. See if you still got it. Yeah. still got that shit. Yeah. yeah you I'm got there. the juice now, PJ. Goddamn right. <laughs> But then he says, bitch, wifey, my, oh, not wifey, oh, I'm sorry, not yet, he ain't shaking wifey yet, mm-hmm. but her, his mom comes in there, yes. yokes him up, and he's like, yo, we teaching my son that foul shit, so we don't need another one of you in this town, motherfucker. One is enough, goddammit. That's right. Oh, oh, there's, there's I don't know, it's a oh, hole somewhere. Oh, you got a hole yeah. yours, I think, I think yours is done, dog. PJ making a mess. Oh, he right? To... So sorry. Oh, that's all right. Oh, I think your shot glass is done, PJ. Well, wow. you might have you might have had it sitting in there, burning a hole in the bottom somewhere, mm. wasting liquor, my nigga. Right, I feel so fucking. Shit. Well, you have to go get your real shot glass now. <sighs> Sorry, guys. While he's gone. Yeah. Hello there, folks. How are you? How do you approve this podcast so far? Do you think Still this podcast everything. is bullshit? Well, guess what? You can leave an iTunes review if you want, and if you say it's bullshit, we'll say your review is bullshit. Mm. PJ's back. <laughs> So, PJ. All right. Yes. Um, Davey and Jennifer, they both leave. Mm-hmm. And they're both talking shit in the car about each other kind of to themselves. Yeah. Then they break out in song. There's a, it's like, I see a hole for me right there on the side. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Holes. He got holes. Ooh. He got holes. And his candy cane shot glass. Candy cane. Good. <laughs> holes. 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 PJ, mm-hmm. they're talking shit about each other in the car, but they're but then they start singing about each other. So I think this is where you find out that they were like, is this where you found out they were for childhood they were like thing. friends and they yeah. had a crush on each other and everything? They start driving through the town and it's the whole reminiscent mm-hmm. thing where the spots where they. Do you remember? <sighs> well, we want Mike with that. Oh, you can. I, you can go Mike. You can go Mary J. Blige. You can go oh, you shit. Yeah, Mary. Before. I forgot about Mary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, they start running um, this and they were childhood. They had the crush on each other. Mm-hmm. But something happens. You don't find out yet, but something happens that throws their friendship off. Yes. He gets home. I find out his shit is on fire. Yes. Like, this nigga just legit did a fucking, like, fel- felony. Like, you're going to jail, dog. <laughs> Fuck all that shit. Oh, yeah. you didn't say, because the dude, that the main thug dude that he beat in the basketball game, he, the bet was that if he lost, he had to eat this fat, sweaty dude's jock. Yes. And he was sitting there chewing on it. Because mm-hmm. the fat guy's like, yo, why are you eating that? 
Hey, don't worry about it. Real men do real men things. <laughs> Like eat jock straps. Nigga. Well, keep space. your bet. No, that was. Oh, oh, I see. Sick, oh, I see. Yeah, uh, different way, like. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, the jock strap dude just burned his fucking trailer down. So it made him homeless. Mm-hmm. So Whitehead, being the nice guy that he is, is like, you know, come stay with us. And your boy's like, well, no, I'm, I'm good. I want to do that. He's like, well, what the fuck option do you have? Yeah, you can go lay in the fucking flames because <laughs> you can do that. Look at your circumstances right now, okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. They get to his house, though, but Eleanor is scared. She probably thinks he's coming in there to jack her ass. Yeah, he got a little bit of notes. It's not, yeah, it's not a whole lot. Yeah, okay. This might be about as much as it race her head has. <laughs> That's... Uh, about as much as he race her head has. I'd rather not revisit that. I would much rather revisit that, but I'm not going to spoil none. <laughs> PJ. Uh-huh. Um, don't they start singing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah when they, they get to the there. the song about yeah. the house rules because they're singing, you know, it's a technical foul. Yeah. And this is what I was talking about, where it started out good, but eventually the singing started to to, to nullify your boy Brent's. Mm-hmm. And that's mainly the part where, like, like, have them all three singing over top each other, and your boy Adam Sandler and his voices are starting to, like, great nail on a chalkboard in my fucking ears a little bit. That's it. Yeah. you got them all over top of each other at the same time, and it's annoying as fuck. But other than that, it wasn't that bad. It, it was just funny. That, that part, yeah. It was, the, it was the most memorable song in the movie to me. Technical foul. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I think through all this, they start becoming like friendly because he like starts helping them do shit around the house and shit yeah. too. Like he's helping them like get cobwebs off the ceiling. Character development. Yes. Real quick character uh-huh. development. Yes. He's not. A- oh, we getting a phone call from Brian. Voice call you. Oh, Y O H. Oh, who's that? That's oh. a guy from uh. Brian, yo. What's he doing? Is he on the screen? The guy. No. Oh, I thought no, he said, what's he doing? Is he on there? Nah, it's okay. Doing some drunk guy shit. From work. Yeah, yeah, he on some... Oh. I don't know what he... Oh, I was he just shit. hit at the casino, and I told him, hit me up. Oh. He said, if you hit big, let me know. Oh, well, he can send a text. Yeah, right? Let me just... Say you got a couple thousand. Hey, PJ, man, I need you to slide me like 50 bucks, man. They're going to fuck me up, PJ. Uh, they got sorry. my arm in a vice right now, man. I just need 50 bucks, man. Come on, P. I'm so sorry. C- early Christmas gift, my nigga. Come on, man. I got you. Nah. Ah! Hey, I don't know this man. All right? I up. just work with him. Hang up. Hang That's up. The, yeah. <laughs> you got the wrong one. I'm sorry. There you go. PJ. Yes. So now that they're all cool, mm-hmm. they're, um, they're like a skating rink or some shit. Like ice skating rink. Yeah. Whatever you call that shit. I don't know. I don't go ice skating. Ice Fuck off. skating rink. There you That's, go. There you go. So that works. There's ice and you skate. And it's a rink. <laughs> ice skating rink. So he's out there. But then they had the little vote box for, you know, the, the patch or whatever. And your man, since he's feeling nice, he gives Whitey his vote. Mm-hmm. So there you go, old man. Hope you win. Yes. And there's some ice skating going on. And they're talking, again, character development, PJs. They're talking about the JCC Miracle Game. That uh, Davey was a part of. Yes, yes. Tell him yes. about that shit, PJ, since you was like, ah, yes, you must remember. He was a little kid. Yes. A very no crucial time in his life. He was still that nigga. And let me tell you why. They why? were down about 15 points. It was this time. Christmas. We must win for our parents, God damn it! Yeah, he's like, our parents they, come to every game and yes. fucking lose. Let's at least this one time for Christmas make it yes. worth their while to bring their asses mm-hmm. out here in this cold. Well, the only way to do that is if we pass you the ball all the time. All right, I got a strategy, folks. <laughs> you, you want us to do this maneuver? You want to do alley up? No. Pass me the ball. That's it. Kobe, that shit. That's it. Nigga, what you want me to do? You're... Pass the ball. Pass so, the ball. That's it. Pass the ball. I got it. Okay. It's all you got to do. And of course... That was a school day reference. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, <see that? laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Pass the... P- Give it to Dean Big Brother Almighty and say... Yeah. Pass the pussy. Pass the pussy. <laughs> Pass the pussy. Yes. We got to do school days. Today. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's February. February March, is March, coming. Coming, it's coming. Yes. So what's up, PJ? Um... That's exactly what they do. They give him the ball every play. He goes off like how he went off earlier when he was with little young Buck. Um, he well, wins the, the game too, for even him. Though he gets the ball every time. He doesn't make every shot. Sometimes he does oop it to Gurley, too. Yeah. So uh, there is some teamwork there. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I ain't going to show it on y'all 100%. I'm going to give you a little 95. That's all. I like that. 95.9. 95. Yeah, there you go. Uh, they wind up winning. Yes. But the kicker. As they wind up winning, oh, 
Do they say right here? Yes. Oh, the okay. police are standing at the door. And when the game is over, they're going to talk to Whitey. And you're like, oh, shit. No, I mean, they say in the actual, not the flashback. Mm-hmm. They keep going with the flashback. Because yeah, yeah, they yeah, come out of it, then they... Yeah, because okay. my next note right here is that, Mama's dead. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, everybody's, you know, parents is giving them love. And... He looks up in the bleachers, he's like, where daddy? Yeah. Daddy? Hey, Mom. Where your daddy? They're not there. Sorry, kiddo. Your parents have died. I'm gonna, what, there's a car accident or something? Yes. Very Not a drive-by like I was talking about. No. No, <laughs> no, no, it's not. But your boy Davey goes off at this point because now they're bringing up old trauma, tra- traumatic, traumatic, traumatic memories. Yes, yes. And he goes off on, uh, what's his name, Whitey. Mm-hmm. Says, nobody, you don't never win that vote because nobody even knows you fucking exist because you ain't shit, bitch. Mm. Don't fucking talk to me no more. And your boy Wyatt's like, don't get, don't come to my motherfucking house. That's it. I'm calling the boys on you. Mm-hmm. You're going to jail. Get your shit, all right? You can't be reformed out here. That's right. You don't get your shit. Get the fuck out. You're just an in, what's an ingrate? A ingrate. Oh, he called him a degenerate. Degenerate. That's yeah. it. There you go. And your boy, uh, Davey, gets drunk and goes to the mall. Why? I don't know, but he goes to the mall. <laughs> He was led there. Yes. yes. By the spirits. Yes. Because all the product placements come to life, PJ. They earned that motherfucking product placement money. Goddamn right. Because they come and tell him, like, yo, look, it's all right to cry, my nigga. That's it. Y- your parents died. Mm-hmm. Most people would cry about that shit. That's, let it you out. You don't got to hold it in. Yes. Let it out. That's it. Let it flow. Mm-hmm. And, and at first he's like, nah, 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 nah. Fuck that. Fuck that. Gangsta shit. I ain't crying. Mm-hmm. Right. But then they pull out this card that's nah. been hinted at the whole movie. It says to our son Davy or thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it opens up. Mm-hmm. And there's a picture on the left side with him and the girl. Yes. There's a picture of his pants on the right side. And they're basically like, hey, Davy, look, I love your ass. Right. I want you to know I always love your ass. You're a great kid. You're a great son. Yeah. And you shoot ball like a motherfucker. You are that nigga. That's right. Yes. We love you. But now we die. Ah. Goodbye. We die now. It is. Yes. Ah, it is yes. my time to die. Uh huh. And he starts crying. It yeah. works. But oh, and I think they say something about him and old girl too, and I'm like, yeah, whatever. But what's up? The cops come. Yes, he's about to get arrested. Mm-hmm. But then he like breaks free and, and hooks them to each other in a way that was like they're fucking each other. Yes, and that's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> so he escaped the cops. Yes, Everybody. that's how you. Sorry, hmm? that's how you tell comedy. How you were like, people ask us, how do we review that? That right there. <laughs> he told you the joke. Yes. As he was explaining the movie. Yes. He hooked them together. Yes. Don't be scared to talk about comedies yeah. on your podcast, That's folks. It, it yes. can be done. Yes. Don't think about it. That's it. Don't think about it too, too much, too much, too much. Too much. Too yes. Much. Because look, look how how long has this been? How long has it been? One twenty four. We still record. Yeah, yeah, we still record. God damn, it's actually working. I can't wait to listen back to this and know if I'm gonna be throwing shit in the middle of the night. Uh, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's auto level so I'm gonna let it do its thing right okay. now I can't fuck with the levels if I want to it's got a knob on there mm-hmm. I don't wanna do that right I don't See have what headphones I could have plugged in headphones and listened to it as we recorded mm. now I look like a jackass with big headphones on <laughs> and you not sound <laughs> I don't know we'll figure, we'll figure it out we'll, 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 we'll talk if this shit works this is it okay fuck it that's it but no flat line. PJ yes what the fuck was I saying oh how about the comedy the, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. don't be don't be scared Come don't on. be afraid you tell them. Don't be they... afraid. Oh. Wait for it. You know that song? No, you don't know that? No. It's on the Juice soundtrack. I know. Juice. It's, it's Aaron Hall, I'm pretty sure. Huh. Don't be afraid. If you hear the beat, I bet uh, you money. Oh. Now I, I lay me down to sleep. I pray to love my soul to kiss. A New Jack Swing type? Yes. Ah, I think so then. Okay. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Don't be afraid. There it is right there. Shot. Mm. I went too far. Yes, it is Aaron Hall. I'm that good. Look at that. Watch, here you go. With State Farm Life Insurance. Son of a bitch. You remind me of uh, Dave Chappelle Jeep? sometimes. Oh, huh? <laughs> just, I, I'm just that good. I'm sorry. Oh, just that. Ha! <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, Spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Uh, who is this? Aaron Hall from Guy. Aaron Hall. Wow. There it is. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Don't be afraid, baby. 
Mm. There you go. Don't so, be afraid. So don't be afraid. Yes. Don't be. So don't be afraid of that shit, man. Do your comedy. That's it. All you got to do is tell them they were hooked together by the pants. And they'll make it look like they were fucking. There you go. That's, That's the, the joke. joke. There's your tell them the joke. <laughs> That's it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I don't know if we said this on the podcast yet, but I think it was in between episodes. But we even had on the Facebook page when I uploaded the um the fucking what episode was it now? What was the last episode that came out? It was that wasn't God. What came oh, out before Godzilla? Eraser. No, it hasn't come out yet. Oh no, no, right at this now. point, no, no. I'm sorry, I did. Uh, uh. The mule layer. Okay, yes. We, we put the mule episode and somebody, somebody gave us a. I hope it was a compliment because I took it as a compliment. They was like, "Man, you guys had the most diverse selection of movies of any podcast I've ever seen." Right. It's like, yeah, because we don't give a fuck. That's it. Just, if it's in the bag and he pull it out, we gonna talk about it. We'll find a way. You help us. Yeah. yeah. You I'll listen as we. We got foreign talk movies. It. We got classy movies. We got new movies. We got Matt Ice T movies. We got racist movies. Like, yes. Oh, which is now number six in our top ten. Yeah, because for... the fuck, so many reasons. Song of the South is getting a spike you know in downloads why? right now. Oh, what's up? Because Trump's not in office. So people celebrate Trump not being in office by listening to us talk about Song of the South. Exactly. I don't see the correlation. There, I don't you know either. What? But fuck it works. It. Here is talk shit about racism as we defeat racism in America. Goddamn right. Trump lost. <laughs> ah. <laughs> PJ. Yes. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. So the big Christmas town party thing. Did you? Is this? You think that's? Huh? Fuck it. Pour me a little bit. I think I don't know. I got one of holes in mine yet. Yeah, <laughs> don't be afraid. Bow. 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 Busting at him. Oh shit! Just down it, down it, down it. Chug, 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 chug. There, PJ did it. Ah. Well, folks, that's one bottle gone. He said a bottle and a half. This is. I, I, I had the strawberry cream for the videos. I mean, I, I didn't drink half of it though. Yeah. But, you know, we got we got a bottle in it. We got a bottle on some change. Son. Mm, that's it. So mm-hmm. Christmas party, PJ. Yes. Everybody's going to the party. Mm-hmm. And as Eleanor Christmas and Waddy are going to the party. Uh huh. She, the whole movie just been a joke about her talking about somebody stealing her wig. And there's a guy that comes up and he's like, hey, you're Eleanor. I wanted to tell you, I've been feeling so bad all these years. You know, I stole your wig back in the day and I want to give it back to you. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, why, thank you, son. And then she drop kicks his bitch ass. Yeah. And bombs him. Get what you deserve. He's like, how you feel about that? She's like, I feel good. Mm, yeah, right. Let's go hit this party, Let's son. go. Let's go. I feel, I'm feeling good tonight. You might just win. Yeah. Yeah. So Davey's getting on the bus because he's running from the cops still at this point. He's about to hop on the bus and get the fuck out of town. Mm-hmm. And um, back at the Christmas party, I made a note because I, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. But your boy, uh, the mayor, is hosting. And he's like, you know, I, I was at this at the hardware store. So much shit he said all day. Mm-hmm. So I ain't got my usual joke. He's like, I just thought it on the fly. He's like, not, nah, not. Nah. He's like, who's there? And he's like, what was it? What was the joke? I don't actually remember. the. What was that? He's like, not, nah, not. Nah, who's there? Something. I don't know. Wish you would. This like some shit. Don't, don't you? Miss you. He's like, don't yeah. share some shit. Yeah. And he's like, don't you wish I had spent so much hard work time at the hardware store and came up with a better joke? Huh? <laughs> and then everybody just starts laughing all crazy and shit. And they even got the Asian dude like slamming his fucking face on the table for some reason. And then um, rightfully, the little dude is like, what the fuck are they all laughing at? It wasn't that funny. You know, girl, he's like, yeah, they just do that to make you feel good. I'm he's like, the mayor. Yeah, I was like, okay. So I was even confused. Like, what the fuck is going on? Why is everybody laughing so hard at this shit? <laughs> Yes. But on the bus out of town, your man's trying to get to New York. But they were, I guess, you know, would you say this is fake, PJ? Yes. Because the bus runs over one thumbtack, one mm-hmm. little ass thumbtack, and it takes out like eight wheels. I think yes. that's it. He said it's only going to take him 30 minutes to change all them fucking tires. I call bullshit, well, you sir. Know, PJ, you know, it might, you know, we got, we got the tools. Mm. We have the weaponry to handle this. Yeah. Yeah. It weaponry. can be handled. Okay. All right. I'm doubting him. Like maybe he used to this shit. Maybe he, maybe he's a bumble driver. Hmm. And he it happens just, all the time. Yeah. Maybe he like lives in Ohio and hits mad potholes because this fucking state. Hmm. I heard it ain't even just here. This whole fucking state might as well just be a fucking pothole. He's mad. You like, they work on the streets all fucking year round, but he still got mad potholes. Literally. And they move down like. Like, the state bird shouldn't even be a bird. It should just be a fucking traffic cone. <laughs> that's the state. That's the flag. <laughs> Fuck the Ohio flag. Just put a flag with a traffic cone on that bitch. That's Columbus, Ohio for sure. Do you know? What's that? Did you know? They've been working. I just, since you said it, I just thought about it. They've been working, like, down on Children's Hospital what? since before we fucking graduated. And it's yeah. still coned the fuck up. How? How? Because they keep doing more and more. 
like they go down consecutively. They 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 start mm-hmm. at a place and just but it shouldn't take 10, 12, 10, 11. Fuck, when did we graduate? Nine, oh, no. oh, nine. It's 20, 11 years. Yeah, I'll say it's 11, bro. It should not take 11 years to work. It's, it's from Afrocentric to the fucking corner. Like, it's, you're not. Come on. Come on. For I real. Mean, For real? I think they're adding a, like a highway exit or some shit right there. So that might actually take a while. I don't know, man. I'm just saying. You know, I don't know. Just trying to give them some credit. Yeah, you know? it's not all their fault. Because that shit is like that. But I'm talking about just like the little stupid shit that be there forever. The like, random like pot fucking holes. James Road. <sighs> God, man, I yes. hate that street. We're saying yes, this to people yes, that yes. don't live here are like, what? Oh, you know. You have a street like this. How many local people? I know Mike Backford's in Ohio. He's not in Columbus, but he's like, I think he's in Dayton. You know, Sorry about putting close business enough. out there like that. Right. Now they're going to go look him up. Michael Backford. Who this man? You just name. threw the whole name out there. I said. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You know, he didn't know his middle name. It might be a lot of names eh. out there. They maybe got, maybe they thought you said Mike Brooklyn, so they'll go out and looking for Brooklyn. Nah, see what he did. You know, a, a tree grows there. You know that? <laughs> oh, that was a smart guy joke that PJ didn't get. There's a, oh, it's like, what is this? It's like a book or something. It's called Tree Grows in Brooklyn. I missed it. Oh, ah, oh, oh. smart guy. Okay. I had I threw one in there. Oh, oh. I think it's Brooklyn. <laughs> a tree grows in Brooklyn. Hmm. Yep. 1943. Oh, who is it by? Semi-auto- uh, semi-autobiographical novel written by Betty Smith. Mm. Considered one of the great American novels of the 20th century. Book was an immediate success. A tree grows there. The main metaphor of the book is the hardy tree of heaven, whose persistent ability to grow and flourish even in the inner city mirrors the protagonist's desire to better herself. So I guess she's the tree, and she's growing in Brooklyn to be a better woman. Mm. Yes, jokes. I know some jokes. That was, that a, are, that was, that was a deep joke. Yeah, yeah I, was, I, ta- I know something. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'll sit at home and just watch Eight Crazy Nights all day. You know? <laughs> A nigga do read. I said, uh, oh, you read? And watch movies. The fuck? Okay. Play video games. I do a lot. Do video games. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. PJ. Yes. Um, Where am I? Oh, the joke. Oh, the attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Davey gets off the bus because he's like, you know, this must be a sign. Uh-huh. But not that weak ass M. Night Shyamalan movie. This is a sign that I need to get yeah, reference. <laughs> I need to go down there and apologize for the shit I said. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's looking in the window at what's going on. And the five O is about to get his ass, but them deer come back. Mm-hmm. And they save his ass. They, do a, they form a triangle to cover it. Pyramid right there. A pyramid, yes. thank you. And, they, and uh, what, how does he... Oh, oh, he's looking at the window because um, they're about to announce who won the patch. Mm-hmm. But you find out that your boy Wiley did not win the patch. John Lovitz won the patch. I don't remember his character because it was fucking John Lovitz. Right. He won the patch. There you go. And your boy starts crying. He basically, like, bro, if he could, he probably just throw the middle fingers like, fuck all y'all. Right. <laughs> this was <laughs> supposed to be my year, but nah. Yeah. yeah. So, but he's a nice guy. So he just gets up. He cries and he leaves. Mm. Oh, he even gives him the... He gives him a slow clap as he. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You said you said something about that. He's like a real nigga right there. He just still clap for him. You know, he saw that he lost. And said, "Yeah, you know, I just give him the ah, yeah, yeah. You deserve it. You know, soul clap. Ah, fuck. So he lost. But then your boy after they leave, your boy Davy going and he Kanye West that shit. Yes. He's like yo, yo, I know John Lovitz won, but let me tell you, y'all fucked up. <laughs> Cause my man right here, Whitey, he should have won. Mm-hmm. He had the best fucking time in the, the year out here. Right. Shit. Then they sang a song. They sang a song about how they be doing that motherfucker dirty. They all fuck him over. That's right. God damn. One girl, he was like, yo, I invited him into the like prom as a joke. And I was there with my guy. And she was like, oh, you really thought I was going to fuck with your ass? Ha, funny. And there's another guy. He was like, yo, I called him to come fix my TV. And he stood on top of the TV with a coat hanger so that we can watch the game. And then he got electrocuted. And we didn't. And he started crying. So we just turned the TV up and shit. Sitting, yes. Ah, fuck. So that happens. Yeah. Um, Kanye wants to sing a song. Oh, I guess Whitey is like, you know, I want to go to the one place that'll make me feel better. Mm. Do something to make me feel right, better. Right, right. Let it set right within my soul. Yeah. That, yeah. Was, that was another Players Club reference. Oh, is it better? Is it do something to make me feel better? Is it do something to make me feel good? I think it's better. I won't say it's better, I thought. Do something to make me feel better. Either way, I your wanted, in the wheelchair. after you said it, yeah. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to do something yeah, to make like, you feel <laughs> great. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Man, that's going in the Fuck back sometime. Around. Um... But what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They go to the Mars. I guess that's his place to, you know, level out his mindset. Mm-hmm. But then the whole town shows up. Mm-hmm. And it's a big sentimental moment because Davey apologizes. The town people come up and they're like, and John Lovitz is like, you know what? Fuck it. Here's your patch, man. You earned this shit. I don't need right. this shit. Here goes number 34. Yeah, everybody, everybody. Last year. All the previous winners start throwing their yeah. patches down at him. 
And he's like, oh, my God, you know, this is like the best moment of my life. And then Davey and Jennifer hook up because she's like, yo, you did a good thing. You made that man feel great. Here's some pussy. That's it. And now my son got a daddy. We both, me and my son both got a new daddy. Can I ask you a question? Yes, you can. Question. God damn it. Well, can we, we're <laughs> going to finish the movie real quick. Oh, we only got like two, one line left anyway. So the movie's almost over. You much over. Yeah. Bro. You want me to finish it and then yeah, answer it? Just, All right, well, it's just this. The movie ends with, after they hook up, mm-hmm. your man is so happy he starts having a seizure and he's on the ground twitching. And your boy's like, this is the happiest seizure I've ever had or some shit like that. Yes. And then the movie ends. Boom. And you get the Eight Crazy Nights song. But that's the movie. That's Eight Crazy Nights. Okay. There you go. What's up, PJ? I was cashing my check today. Okay. Bowling. Sorry. There's a, there was a lady, a woman. Yes. And she said. Get the fuck away from me. No, I'm stop. That her man, because they were there's nothing but women that work in there, right? In the bank, okay. In the yeah, in the uh, yeah, PLS. Oh, oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she basically was saying they they were talking about her husband and how he's a nice guy, and the actual employee was like, "Yeah, I know he seems like such a sweet guy. Like, I'm glad it's working out for you." And then she said, "Sometimes he's too nice." Oh. But I still love him. He's the best guy I've ever been with. What to be too nice? It de- you know sometimes that that can be some bullshit, and it could also be some like some cold shit. Because mm-hmm. it could be some cold shit. And it's like not a nice way to say my husband's a bitch ass nigga. Yeah, that's how I took it. Like he's too like fuck. Is or he a- it could be the other way where it's like he's too nice. Where some girls just want a more aggressive type dude. It's the it's the weird. Is that not the same thing? If you're calling me a bitch, then you want. An aggressive, but sometimes or I should put it like this way: sometimes they want the guy to be more aggressive, like in life, to like not just her, but just in general. But then sometimes the girl likes being more aggressive toward them. You know, mm, you get what I'm saying? Yes, more These... personal than outward. Yes, like they want the outward expression of the aggression. Yeah, you go the... out to everybody, go to ah. go out there and say "fuck the world." Now, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it just I don't know. It depends on the scenario, I guess. I've seen huh. I've seen both happen before. Huh. I started feeling where it's like, well, it's like, you know, the spirit tells a story about her ex dude where he was like getting beat up at the bus stop by like kids or some shit she was talking about by kids. Oh, I like kids, but like high school or some shit. I don't Mm. know what the fuck they were, but shit like that. Or just be sometimes, you know, the dude be, oh my God, I can't believe I'm about to bring this fucking movie. Uh The fucking Tyler Perry Temptation movie. Oh shit. Where the dude was supposed to be like all nice and everything. And she was like, you know what? He, he, he loves me. He's nice to me. You know, he takes care of me. Mm-hmm. But this nigga over here got money and he's a little bit more, you know, tougher. Yeah. So I'm going to cheat on this great guy I have and then go fuck this nigga and get AIDS. Yeah. And then be salty when I go back to the other dude and he's like, ha, no. You thought, ah, yeah, bitch. But what some, the fuck? Some of that type of shit. So I don't know. Ah. It depends. You just have to ask, like, yo, what you mean by too nice? Like, what's he be doing? What's he not doing? Right. Like, what the fuck? Too nice. That's a... I had to flip on me. I, I got multiple girls telling me I was too aggressive. You don't say. But see, that's the thing. That's the difference there is because for me, they meant aggressive as in personality. But then, you know, there's other times I mean, he too aggressive. Like, he too, like... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Them, yeah you know, rough here, and shit. Yeah. I wasn't, like, yoking no girls up or nothing. Yeah. They just, the personality of mine, they just saw me as aggressive. I don't know why I'm... Say you're pretty chill. I don't. Yeah, but right. well, I mean, when I get mad, I don't like. I ain't never thrashed out of, like a woman before. I'd like to. I'm like, that's some bullshit, man. Fuck you, bullshit. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, they heard me on the mic before. Saying it, yeah, shit. but I ain't oh. never like directly like to a woman except for yeah. the one time with the girl with the mouse. But y'all heard that story before. <laughs> but that's the only time. Yeah. Okay. Because usually if a girl was talking, she might be like, whatever, bitch, and just walk away. Like that's I'm not gonna that's argue that's with you or you know that shit. For you, nah. I just the personality, I guess, was too aggressive. I don't fucking know. Maybe they wanted a nicer guy. I don't fucking know. It's weird sometimes. Mm. But I have had that thrown at me multiple times. Spirit doesn't believe that sometimes. I was like, yeah, it got me. It got yeah. That shit just fuck with me. Like I was, I don't know. Yeah, you just fuck with me. Like, nah. Too nice. What the fuck? Like. Well, I tell you, that's what happened to you before. Yes. Okay, that's why I said. Yeah, like it's like you're just too nice. Like, what the fuck? Like, do you want a nigga to just nah, bitch? Shut the fuck up. I want a thug. Like, yeah, right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Maybe because I'm I'm a thug. thug. That's right. No, is that no for real? Is that that what you want? It might. Probably a lot of girls do. What the fuck? Okay. Nah. That's why I'm done fucking with you. Oh my god. (laughs) You say that. I know, right? I know. He just be talking about he done with them hoes. And he be done. And no one come around. He be fucking with him. I mean, ah, fuck. 
<laughs> and hit my phone, and I'll be fucking with him again. Nah. I'll be over there tonight. <laughs> See, I don't know, PJ. I think it's, it's more of a case by case. I don't have a definitive answer for you. I think it depends on the person. Hmm. Just like with the aggressive thing, right? Sometimes the girls thought I was aggressive. By like, one girl thought I was too aggressive because of the music I listened to. I was like, really? That's it? Because of the music. Because I listened to like Gangster, right? Like Ice Cube and Ghetto Boys and Spice One and Gangster Nip. Gangster Nip might scare some people, admittedly, yeah, but. He's a, he's, a, he's a pretty wild guy. Rip some meat out your stomach and make me a taco, all that type <laughs> of shit. That's pretty wild. <laughs> Other than that, though, you know, that aside. Put some chocolate on your arm so it tastes like a snicker. <laughs> I fucking love gangsta dip. I don't care. It's scary. That shit is the best. It's scary. Yes. Uh, I was trying to think of the other gangsta dip line. I can't remember the first part of it. They found his neck so sudden. They found his head behind Walgreens or something. <laughs> oh, okay. Huh. Damn, I'm trying to... I can't remember the first line of it. Oh, whatever. Gangsta dip. Look up gangsta dip. You don't know G A N. K S T A N I P gangster Nip. Um, they, I don't know, PJ. It depends on what, okay. she, what, what her definition of too nice is. Mm. I can't really help. There's not really a universal. Yeah, I don't universal. think so. I think it's the person case by case. Like I said, because mm. one girl is out too aggressive because that one girl was, so I was too aggressive because of like how might I be getting like mad at shit, I guess. Mm. How I go off on shit sometimes. Stupid shit. Is that me. aggressive like this? I don't know, man. That's more of a temper, okay? It's not between... even that bad. Like it don't, you know, it don't. I don't even get mad like that often. Right. Like, I just like the personality being like, man, fuck them, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck what they talk. Like, fuck them. I don't yeah. give a fuck what they talking about. Yeah. That type of shit is too aggressive, I guess, for some people. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna start trying to do that then. I'm gonna just. You know, not I feel me, if though, I don't you know? fuck with you, I'm not fucking with you. Yeah. That's pretty much my stance. But huh. I don't know. Whatever. Pe- fuck that shit. Fuck it. Yes. Yeah. Either. Who. That's the end of a crazy nice PJ. Oh right. We got through it. Uh huh. So now, before we tell you what we thought about it. Yes. We're going to play promo. Goddamn right. Some advertisements if Age Radio wants to be like, fuck with us this week. Mm-hmm. And we'll be right back. It's time. Let's check our cue, baby. Pair it with a couple of brews, baby. We love your movies. We love the bad ones, too. So we watch them all and pass their lessons on to you. Oh, yeah. Everything I learned from movies helps to make life a little bit groovy. With a one last plot holes and gratuitous boobies. It's time to get busy with your friend Steve and Izzy. At EILFM.podbean.com. As you lights up. Now, folks, don't fret. If you're looking at this on the camera, that's not weedy smoking. It's like an herbal mix. It's like, what she said? It was really? like sage, sage, roses. Rose petal, yeah, that's all I remember. Uh, that's something a... else. So much of herbal shit. Frankincense and myrrh. Sage, <laughs> some shit like that. <laughs> yeah. So don't worry, folks. Yes. But PJ, mm-hmm. what did you think about Eight Crazy Nights? Um, it's funny to me. Like, I just, I just remember watching it when I was younger. I guess it's more... I don't. Like you said, like, it's more... Mm-hmm. The tone. If they were to put this out nowadays, you don't think it would fly. It would, f- yeah. It would fly it would back be. then, though. Remember, I said it didn't make well, money. It might have got bad reviews, so criticized more. Like it might have been more of a uh, boycott. More, this. it would have more of a like a what do you what do you like a triggering? Yes. Thing. Are you triggered? Are you triggered? Yes. That that exactly. But I don't. I don't see the, the not as tr- bad as I don't think. I don't think it'd be as bad as you might think. Like I said, the Rob Schneider doing the Asian like voice stereotype thing. Yes. No, even the well, yeah, I guess not because even she wasn't the like, yeah, thing that I thought she was. Is, she's like yeah. the, the the like the meter for the that litmus shit. test. Yes, that's the yeah. Like, whatever it is something that we think because PJ, PJ when we went into this, he thought oh that was the other thing. PJ because like he's like he was worried that she might not fuck with it because there's like a joke. Just one scene, uh huh. It's like because there's this we didn't mention, it, but there's a joke where they're singing and about the people in the town and the mayor's like you know at one point my wife used to be, used to be a. A man, man or something. Yeah. They cut to him like with the hair rollers and shit. And he says something. <clears throat> but she says like they don't use it as a joke. They're just saying like, hey, you know, he used to be a guy. It's not, it's not really played for like a... Like I said, it's not mean-spirited. That's the thing. That's yeah. a, But our joke... Are most of the jokes mean-spirited? In this movie, not, it's not like... They're mean-spirited toward the characters, not towards a set of people, if that makes sense. Ah, you see what I'm saying? Ah, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not mean? Not mean? Not mean? Yeah, 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 I get yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> Well, so that's why. So I don't think it would be as bad as you think. I guess the only thing um, I can think that people might have a 
you know, something to wrestle with is the, the accent, maybe. That's huh. the only thing I think, though. Um, I don't know. I could put this on and just watch it's it. Is it a Christmas movie for you? Uh, you play it at no. Christmas time or you just play it whenever? Whenever. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a six. Six. I'm gonna give it a six. Okay. DJ so gives it a six. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can say too. Um, I forgot. I wrote it down already. The spirit is laying down. She's sleeping and everything. But before she left, she can't give you her review. But she gave me the score, and the spirit has ranked this a ten plus. That's why she put it in there. So yeah, she wanted. To, she definitely wanted us to watch this movie, especially yeah. since I had never seen it before. So yeah, she loves this movie. This is top tier for her. It's funny. It's funny. It has moments. It. Yeah. 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 It's well, crazy you said six because I thought you were gonna be. A, I thought you were gonna say like eight or some shit. But I didn't notice at points. I was confused because I was looking at you. You were kind of doing the little side lean. Like, lean back. Yeah, like he don't even look back. like he's loving this shit. Like the spirit was over there. Like she cried. She laughed. Yes. She went through all the emotions over there. So yes, she was into right? it. Yeah, Brent, not so much. Okay, I can't honestly say it's not terrible like I remember. Like I thought this shit was whack. Like wiggity 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 whack. whack. Okay, yeah. So I walked out the room. It's not that bad. Okay. But it's just, even even though you would think, though, it has all the mean spirit in this that you think Brent would fuck with. And it has the, I feel like the humbug is your character. Yeah. Like, like that's this the, character in this movie. Yes. Like that. But see, just like the thing we just talked about, like how you can be like too aggressive in some ways and some other ways. Uh-huh. Like he has the humbug, but he has like, it annoyed me at some points. Like it's too uh-huh. much humbug or it's like a humbug that I can't humbug with. Ah. Uh-huh. Humbug that I can't uh-huh. bug with. You know what I'm saying? The vibe. The character okay. kind of was annoying at times. Okay. Sometimes the, vo- some the voices were grating at times. Hmm. Not all the jokes landed. Like I did <laughs> chuckle. Like I said, the funniest joke in the whole movie is watching that nigga <laughs> twitch on the ground. That's my favorite thing in the whole movie. The best seizure of my life. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But I did laugh a few times, but I don't know. It's like, it's not one that I would go back to constantly. It's like, if it's on, like, of course, like, the spirit has a 10 plus, so we'll probably end up watching it again sometime in the future. Of course. And I won't be like, ah. it's just, oh, it's like, old. originally, this was yeah. not going to be eight crazy nights. This was going to be Barbie and the fucking nutcracker, PJ. Like, that would have been this. But I just persuade, she's mentioned this. I'm like, how about you throw that under the tree? Like, this is the Please. Barbie shit out of it. Like, I so said, just remember, PJ, she has threatened Barbie. Yeah. She has threatened Twilight. She has threatened the the, huh. the church, you know, whatever, the, the one night, the King movie. So mm. when that month comes up where we play the game to decide who wins, if we get to, she will fuck us up, PJ, if she wins that month. I must. <laughs> I must do it for the boys. He okay. Must defeat the spirit. <laughs> God damn. Oh, the hustle must live on. But, okay. um, but no, nah, I was going to say, um, it, it had its moments, but it's, it's actually one of the, I'm in between two. And okay. I can't, I can't, I want to, I want to put it up to the one. But I just I can't fully like get behind it. So I was I wanted to give it a seven, but yeah. I have to give it a six. Yeah, because yes. it okay. had its moments, and I didn't hate it or anything. But it just, man, you know, I I don't really feel man. one way or the other. Like I didn't hate it, I didn't love it. It made me laugh, but then some points it annoyed me. So it's kind of just like, is it the singing? The, is sing, it, is it the like songs the... didn't annoy me as much as you might think they would, but there was hmm. a lot of singing on. I was kind of mad, but it's, I expect that though. It's a Christmas movie; they're going to fucking sing. Okay, um, it's a five. Okay, I can see that. I, I was thinking four or three, three or four. No, nah, it was that between, I, was, I was debating if I wanted. That's when you said six. I was like, oh shit, we might get the same number. I, okay. just, I can't get to the six. Okay, okay. But it's not. It's like I said, it's not bad. It's just it's not. That's the thing. I don't know. Adam, me and Adam Sandler movies. I just some of them are funny as fuck. Like the older some of them. It's a love hate relationship. But then some of them I was just watching. I'm like, oh, this is horrible, bro. <laughs> what the fuck were you thinking? This is man. In between, like I love Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, that the early shit. Mm-hmm. Like I saw the dude. I forget what the name of it was. I saw like Jack and Jill's horrible, and then there's another one I saw I didn't care much for. So Jack and Jill, you keep you referenced that before. I just... We were just talking about this one. Where I saw that he played the brother and the sister. Part. Right. He, yes, yes, yes. And they had uh, Howard Pacino singing about Dunkin' Donuts. Or <sighs> yes. Um, but see, like you look, that's at the end, the worst side. You know, Happy Gilmore is on the best side. This is kind of like in the middle somewhere. Okay. So I give it to five. It's like it has the jokes. I don't hate it. it I don't know it didn't make me laugh at points, but yeah. at some points I was just kind of like, all right. Like PJ said, I got the delete. That's enough. Off. Yeah. He just sorry. Right. All right. So is... it's it's fine. Okay. It's not a okay. go, it's not a go to for me, but okay, it's better than the fucking Michael Keaton Jack Frost movie. I'll give it that like a motherfucker. Okay. Fuck that movie. Still to this day, there's an aggressive side coming out. Yeah, fuck this movie. That's it. Yeah, when I put that extra emphasis on the F, you know what's coming. It's coming. Yes, fuck yes. That movie. You That's know? from the soul, right there. That's right. You feel that? Yes. But okay. There you go. So it got a six from PJ, a five from me, and a mm-hmm. ten plus from the spirit. 
Mm-hmm. She won't be too happy to hear that tomorrow, I'm sure. But it's the truth. I can't Sorry. lie to y'all, bro. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be fair here. Yeah, and that's her pick. But too. I like it. Like, oh, y'all yo, yo, would give my pick the low score. Like, no, I, 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 I want to give it a lower. seven. I wanted, I wanted to, but I just... We can't, we can't lie, man. Yeah, it's not all the way there. That's like, it. we used to sometimes, I can't even front, like, we said this before in the older episodes, we would sometimes, I was sometimes, at least, I don't know about teaching. Hyper inflate. We, yeah, we would know? lie. Not even inflate, like, hyper deflate, like, like we, how we get, like, over six rail suckers, like a two. I always go back to that one, because that's the one I wish I gave a higher score. That too. is, yeah. I like that high for D flay. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we're like, you know, we should, you know, everybody, nobody really likes we shouldn't probably give it that high score. Now we don't give a fuck. That's it. Said, yeah. We grew past that very quickly, even actually. Fuck y'all. All right. This is the like, honest this is what we think. Yeah, we're not trying to be serious movie reviewers. We just talk about the movies and review them and y'all chill and listen. I feel like that's been pointed out. Every time you've done the score thing with me, my scores are always true. That's right. Yeah. After so long, the, they just start being true. You know? Hey. Like some movies should have way higher scores and some movies should probably have way lower than ah, you know that. Yes. But hey, but that's what we do here. Now we get that hustle on, and we don't lie about it. Goddamn, right. no front faking or perpetrating no more. Goddamn right. But PJ, we got segments on this show. Mm-hmm. Black history flashcards from the urban intellectuals. Black women. Who are we talking about this week? We are talking about President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's the date though? October 29th, nineteen thirty-eight to present. Oh, still lie. That's what's up. 24th president of Liberia. Before oh, okay. becoming president, Sir Leaf had a successful career in banking and treasury. First woman elected as the chair of economic community of West African states. Bought running water and electricity to parts of her country that had been Ooh. without power for 15 years. You're a good one. There you go. As president, she enforced a free public school system, increased wages and pensions, and greatly reduced the country's debts. Mm. Jointly awarded the 2011 Nobel Peace Prize along with Lamaya Gwobi and Twakwal Carmen okay. for her dedication to women's rights. There you go. Who's that? President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. All right. Brought water to her country that had been without it for about 15 years. That's crazy. That's what's up, though. Yeah. Black like women getting it done, baby. Fuck. Then now, PJ, you, yes. I'm going to just say, if we if you don't have one, I'm going to just skip this second right But do you have a hustle approval? If you don't have one, it's fine. We're going to skip it. Because I got this shit. Like I said, I got this shit for uh, Mike Baffer and everything. I just have to find it now. I would like to hustle approve an Xbox 360. Oh, oh, it's Xbox One. Oh, shit. See? See? I'm still fine. What is the Xbox 360? The one before that. Ah. I would like to hustle approve the Xbox One. As you heard earlier, I have just stepped into the 21st century. Okay? Stepped up to 2013. God damn right. And I tell you, I had to call him actually earlier today. How do I get to the game? <laughs> You go to my game I'm maps. Bound it. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, you said what? Like, what the fuck? I got it though. We got it. This, um, I don't know. That shit's gaming with your kids. It's kind of fun, you know. I, Watching I mean, them figure that shit out. It's crazy. Yeah. Watching you play Sonic Adventure Two and figure out how to do everything. Yeah, yeah. It's a. It's he a said crazy. he already got the hang of it now. It's yeah, now, right? that shit. I guess it took him. I don't know what time he laid down last night, but. From he's last night to now, yeah, that shit, he's, he's got it. It's That's great. That's what's up. Yeah. So, so yes. Hustle proof gaming with your children. Goddamn right. On newer systems. Yes. They got the new Xbox and PlayStation out right now, but you just can't get them. You know, the scalpers, they, there's this thing, I don't know if you know, you know about bots on computer. Okay. There's these websites when, like, big shit goes on sale. They set up these bots that will automatically go and buy, like, buy a bunch of them. Some, I don't know if it's just one. I think you can even sell them to buy multiples. And so they have this. They so that, sell them, like resell them. Yes, they scalp them because they'll they sell normally for five hundred. So they're selling them on eBay right now for like fifteen hundred dollars. Oh, niggas is buying. Oh, you niggas, you. We see. If I'm gonna look at it right that, now. Come see, on, because the PS Five just came out like yesterday, and they already were doing. That. <sighs> that's fun. That sound like some nigga shit right there. It ain't just, just them though. No, no? Oh, it's white people doing that shit too. PJ, you got think bots. <laughs> I'm glad it's not Look just us this. doing PlayStation this. PlayStation 5, sixteen ninety nine. You got me fucked 1899. $2,000. $1,248. Who is paying this for a fucking... Like, why don't you just wait a year? Who? Why don't you just wait a month? PlayStation oh, just put a motherfucking press release thing that said they're going to have them in stock by Christmas. Oh. Or like around that time. Oh. So they're going to buy probably a few weeks. They'll have Come more. On. Fucking it's, hype beast. that motherfucking FOMO, PJ. <sighs> Fear of missing out, dog. They're like, I want it Paying now. 2000 for a fucking... They're doing it, though. That's why they're getting it off. Oh, my gosh. That's why PlayStation, I think, tried to put out that announcement. The niggas just don't want to wait. 
I want it now, 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 son. It's my money and I need it now. There you go. Wow. Even though the crazy thing is that the new systems don't even really have any like exclusive games out for the system right now. Like, they're, they're, so there's really not even like, because you know, usually when systems come out, they're like, oh, this is the brand new game that's only playable yes, on the new system. Only mostly, available. Yeah, but most of the games that's coming out came out on PS4 and 5 and Xbox and whatever. So it's like, there's really not even a game out now that's like, so yeah, I don't know, PJ. They're optimized for the okay. new systems, but you can play them on the old ones. Like a lot, like the new like Assassin's Creed and shit. I'm pretty sure yeah. it's on X. You can buy that. You have an Xbox. You can probably buy it and play on yours. I have one now, guys. That's right. See, yeah, <laughs> feel good yeah. to say it, don't you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Wow. But yeah, that's just crazy, bro. That's so people are doing that. If you bought a fucking PS5 or Xbox One off eBay, let us know. I want to know how that went. Like how you feel afterwards. Oh, I'm gonna tell you, you're dumb as shit. Well, all right. Man. I'm sorry, but. Come on. Just give it. I'm telling you, if you're thinking about doing it, if you like iron eBay right now, you're like, I really want PS5, but I don't want to pay this, but I'm eyeing it. Don't. Just give it a week or so, just man. It, just give it a fucking week or so. Listen to get good the guidance. Get the next paycheck. Like, the money you got that you were spending on it right now, save it. Yes. Get the next paycheck. And yes. you have a little bit extra. Don't waste it now paying $2,000 for that shit. Don't do it. Be smarter than that. Yeah. Please. That's right. Ah. Now, PJ. Yes. Mike Backer hit me up this morning with a new episode came out. Yes. Because that's like I said, as we recorded, this, the Godzilla episode came out today. Yes. And he says, and I quote, while listening to the, net, the new episode, I have a question. Would mm-hmm. the James Bond series be considered for a locked-in series since Dr. No was episode two years ago? Or would PJ have to watch From Russia With Love to be picked? Or, I'm sorry. The artist From Russia With Love, the second movie, need to be picked out of the bag for it to be a locked-in series. And I responded, hmm. at this point, if to going by a new system, I guess he'd have to pick another one and lock it in. But I leave all that up to him. So if he ever says, let's do those 007 movies, then we'll do those 007 movies. Okay. So... Uh, so he's asking at this point now would you want to see another Bond movie before you made a final decision or would you want to just say fuck it let's do James Bond I would want to see another Bond one that's I had a feeling yeah just like with Godzilla reason, but I'm like, not opposed to like just saying fucking doing James yeah Bond. just cause I yeah, from the, what I cause that, you know, I didn't think about the, that cause you did ask like is there any other series I forgot about we did Dr. No so we could right so, you, so right now you got like Godzilla is this long series you're gonna do we can do James Bond right I need to do another one somewhere but Right, uh, I got two series. Oh, we haven't done so that shit anymore. But. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. So, I guess mm. I guess that's him throwing a hint too. Like, hey, you should do some James. Yeah, right. Hey, then right was now kinda... we kind of fuck because we got a Christmas right now. Then yeah. January we're catching up with Patreon a little bit. Cool. Then February and March is Black History, and then we got to finish the Patreon picks. So it's gonna be a while for that back. Really uh, comes back. But we're here. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I think maybe we should just do. Well, yeah, sagas. The, the mm. sagas that. Uh, I hate to no fuck Lord of the Rings. Okay, Ooh, we gotta do it one day. So fuck pay Chamber with PJ. Just black. I know. Show I people's know, game of that. That's your fault. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to do that sooner than later. Yep. Okay, and that's part of Patreon. So we gotta get through Patreon first. Uh, so it's gonna have to happen. Okay. So get ready for that. But PJ, yes. Um, remember in the episode of Godzilla, you asked, you had a scenario about the Loch Ness monster and Godzilla fucking yeah. and having offspring. Yeah. And you said, "What would that look like?" And I said, "You know what, Stephen Izzy, I put it out there to you. Can you draw it? Tell uh-huh. us what it would look like." And they did it. Let's go, Lockzilla. Wow, <laughs> I like that. And there you go. Okay. And fun fact about it. Yes. That? I'm gonna show you how much of hustlers these motherfuckers. Like, are. I we like just we just that made them right some money because they got it on a fucking t-shirt. Boom, put that <laughs> shit on a t-shirt. Somebody took our advice and put that Whoa. shit on a t-shirt, so you can buy a Lockzilla shirt from Stephen Izzy, courtesy of PJ. I can see that one more time. The That's shirt. hot. You can buy one. Like you can have a Lockzilla shirt now, PJ. You brought that into existence. Lockzilla. Though. That's a color. I see what they see. It got the humpback, but it also got the, the atomic the beam and, the, and the atomic breath. You know? Atomic breath, like it's blowing up a boat. So, goddamn right. There you go. So, Stephen Izzy hooked you up, PJ. I, wow. thought, I knew they would. That's why I threw it out to them. They, look, look, yo, you he, guys are the oh, MVP just posted, right said, now. Challenge accepted. Ah, ah. yes, secret but shit. Now, he, Mike Bag forgot one for you. Okay, he says. Get PJ to do the Scar versus Gaston matchup film synopsis. Gaston. I'm Gaston. Matchup film. I know he wanted to do a Disney versus film a while back. So, PJ. Who is Gaston? I know Gaston. Uh, oh, oh, shit. Beauty and the Beast? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, I'll look it up for you. Scar. Just I, that's Lion King. Yeah. Versus Gaston. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. It's this guy. Funny thing. He gave me the one that I don't... Uh, I can uh, tell you I've seen Beauty and the Beast twice. Mm. Only because it's a you remember Disney enough about movie. Gaston to do it? I can't. 
I, I know right. nothing. <laughs> I know nothing. Right, that's, well, PJ, I'll tell you what. Yeah. What? Gaston like an evil French motherfucker, right? When he trying to like take Gurley away from the beast. What was it? Hold on. Let's look at what the fuck Gaston did. The premise of the... Yeah, let's what? see what the fuck he even did. Because I've never seen that movie before. The premise of the Beauty and the Beast is that he's... The purpose of the... She's friend. a... What is that? What is... I, see, you picked a... You know, Disney... This... I put Beauty and the Beauty. I'm fucking... Disney... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Disney princesses. Those movies besides Mulan, I can tell you play for play Mulan because they had Eddie Murphy. But that's not the only reason I fuck with Mulan. Other than that, the other Disney princess movies, I can't. I sorry, that might be my like deficient area in Disney. Okay, here's a guy stalling at the Disney. Rookie. Okay, all right, let's see. An egotistical hunter who vies for Belle's hand in marriage and is determined. Not to let anyone else win her heart, even if it means killing her true love. So he want Belle pussy, and he said, I will kill the beast to get to that shit. So he, his goal is pussy. Hmm. Scar's goal was to just get, what, Pride Rock? Was that what it was called? I, almost, I got it. I almost said Plymouth Rock. For, hmm. All right, so fuck it. Let's go. Scar versus Gaston. Let's go. Okay. It's going to be a... Girl fight? A Sorry. thing, right? Mm. So he wanted Belle's pussy. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that's how that's I got to remember it, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Scar... So, the beast is from Africa. Mm hmm. He's a wildebeest. Okay. Him being a wildebeest, he has roots in Pride, pride Rock. Okay. In the Pride Lands, he finds himself. However, Scar comes along. Mm hmm. Where does Belle fit into this? Belle. I don't know. The beast has been focusing so much attention on him. On her. On. Maybe that's what it is. What do you mean? Oh, never mind. I keep going. I'm sorry. I'm never mind. I thought you said, I'm, I'm fucking out there. Oh, on himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the beast has been putting so much attention on himself that Belle travels to Africa. Oh, no. <laughs> in order to get the beast back. How is she getting the beast back by going to Africa? Because that's where he's from. He's from Pride. He's I mean, what is she going to do? What is she going to do there, though? She's going to tell him, hey, oh. you know, when you... Is it... What do they do? When they kiss, do they... Do I, the, I, this, I, I, I'm asking you, right? <laughs> Who are you talking to? That's... Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he's, he's trying to get in tune with himself. But Belle still craves him. Still wants right. him. Right. And Gaston has been chasing her. Right. Forever. So he followed them to Africa. For he to followed her. them okay. to Africa. And now Bell. Hmm. Uh oh, hit him, hit him. Writer's block. <laughs> right? Somehow, they, they got to end it. Where does Scar come into this at? Is, are you... Well, I was going to have Scar. The Beast was going to get powerful. Okay. And become the next leader oh, since probably. Simba was gone. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is like. What about Simba's son? What happened to that? I thought he was running that shit. One at the Lion King This too? guy. I don't know. Come on. Yes. Yes, he was. Okay. But this is just pre. Oh, it's pre all This is why was, his son was still little? Yes. Okay. Yes. This is, well, this, he didn't even have a son. He was just Simba. Oh, oh, he oh. He was okay. out with Timon and Pumbaa. Oh, like he was away from the, little, yeah, he was oh, so away was before from he the, even got bigger. Yeah, oh, he was okay. away from the pride Got gotcha. you. So this is in between lines. Yes. So, so, bring it all together. Let's bring go. it all together. So your boy, the beast got big, and he Scar, was about this, to become the, time, the yes. We, at, this, at that time, you talking about Scar would be running Pride Rock, right? Yes. So what was he gonna get big and go take Scar out of his spot? Yes, yeah, okay, that's, so that was the. But I don't know where Belle comes in. Like I don't, I don't, I can't put, I can't place her there. In well, Pride. If the thing is Scar versus Gaston. So that means if his goal is to get Belle, the beast has to be out of the picture. So maybe Scar mopped the beast's ass. Maybe he dies. Fuck it. He killed him too. And so now Gaston is like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm about to get her now because that nigga's gone. But then Scar's like, oh no, no. Bestiality time now. I'm about to get some of this ah, fighting over that. Ah, or maybe, maybe it ain't, maybe I'm, I'm sorry, maybe I'll take the sex out. Mm -hmm. Maybe the thing is that he's like, oh, you know, I killed your dude and now I'm going to torture your ass until you give me some information or something. I don't know. But How does this magic shit work? I want to become a human. 
like you. Yes, there you go. Ah. Like the, he want to be able to transfer to a human like the mm-hmm. beast. That's it. And so she's torturing her and her waterboarding her ass to get for information. Mm-hmm. And now your boy Gaston has to be some type of like good guy, I guess. Because now he has to go yes, save he her. Ah, but see, maybe he starts out wanting to save her for the wrong reason. He's like, I'll save her. And then she'll be like, yeah, I love you guys. Uh, yeah, I want But him. throughout the course of the journey, he becomes a good guy. Mm. And he fights Scar. And that's how I can now continue from there, PJ. I gave you some Cliff's notes. <laughs> that was it. That was the movie. Well, how's it end, though? I mean, they fight and then what happened? Like, how's it end? Um, eventually, they, him and Scar fight. He turns good. Eventually. She don't. She doesn't trust him either the whole time. Even she when doesn't he, trust even when he starts, Gaston. Even when he starts like doing good, she like he turns over that new leaf. So eventually, she still doesn't believe it though. They wind up the last battle. She runs in on, and they have the whole soliloquy. And he's like, "No, oh, you're doing the Gaston, monologues and shit." Yes, Gaston is like, "No, you know when I first came here to Africa, I just wanted the pousse, but fucking around, I found out, and now I want." her but it's too late oh it's too late scar is just that powerful scar is the man of fried rock slash slash kill kill off the cliff you go they threw scar off the cliff yes well, has, how, well if this is in between the lion king how does this work because scar has to come kill his ass eventually i mean i scar uh, simba has to come kill his ass eventually right got stoned off the cliff oh okay or if you wanted to, to score off, you could just say maybe he like defeated him, but he didn't kill him or something. Maybe he's like, yeah, yeah, we go. I, I freed her, and now we gonna go back to where the fuck France, where the fuck they come from. Way, yes. And your boy Scar's like, I'm sorry, I know, I lick his wounds or something. Like I'll get my revenge. I'll get you gadget one day. <laughs> oh, I shall get my revenge. And then, and then Simba get older, come back and mop his ass. Or you just kill that nigga. I mean, I'm just saying, you don't have to kill Gaston. You can. It's your movie. Nah, he's, just, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna die. Oh, what well, didn't live. He's going to die. Well, this I like just mopped one. his ass. This yeah. Way. So what happens to Belle? Maybe she escapes during the turmoil and runs the fuck back home. Yeah, she has. She has Doc. She has uh, boats at the dock waiting on her. You know, oh, okay. On the, yeah. Oh, she got okay. She got her Uber waiting. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like the Tarzan shit. She was only there for like a week or so. They knew to come back get her. She's not there at the seashore by the time they pull off. She's stuck. All right. So get your ass back. So in the middle of the Gaston and Scar fighting, she banged out. Yeah. Oh, she's a hey, whatever happens, happens. Whoever's going to meet me back in France. That's going to be my love. She's like, I'm I'm she's like, you're not going to stay. Help me. Like, no, nope. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what I said. <laughs> I came here to chase you. I chase you down. Let you know how I feel. Boom. I'm back. So there's no real hero redemption for Gastonia's story. Even if he did like turn to the right reason to want to save her, no. he still does the sins catch up with him and he still has to die. That is it. That not like an ending I would do. I'm surprised that's at that. Cool. Yeah, usually I'm the one exactly. killing motherfuckers. Yeah, right? Shit. That's kind of dark for a Disney yeah. movie. But I mean, Disney movies are dark, but <gasps> somebody parent always dying that shit. Yeah, right. What the fuck is that about? Because mm-hmm. Mufasa dead. <sighs> that hurt me. Bambi mama dead. That hurt me. Come on, baby. Old Yeller dead. <sighs> All this shit, man. They shot that man. Smoke that. took him out and shot that man. Man, I got some kibbles and bits for you, bitch. <laughs> Blow you the kibbles and bits, Nick. <laughs> yes, I laughed at that one. Okay. Fuck. I'm sorry. Bro. Yes, that is. So that's that's your movie. That's that's the movie right so there. Gaston dead, Scar survives and then gets mopped up by Simba. He comes Pearl back. Just yeah. After that, that's when him. he comes back. Yes. Okay. Boom. Well, there you go. There you go, Mike Baffert. Does that work? Yeah, you like that right you. there? Okay. I got a comment from Angel, too, on the last episode. She just sent me hey. a link, PJ. A link? Yeah, it's this. <laughs> ha. Ha, ha. 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 Funny. It's a joke for PJ. Send me to ovationhair.com. Some hair therapy shit, I guess. Ha. Ha, ha, ha. And then she was laughing at spirit, making jokes about my upper lip. I said, it's fine, because she like what I do with the new style. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we had any other comments other than that. Let me double check. I know a lot of people was hype about this Godzilla though, like us doing that shit. That's a, I figured they would be. That's like I said, that was a big movie that you had never seen before. Right. right. Sorry guys, you know I'm just I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know my, the boy DJ on Monkey Man like Productions said I just listened to the new uh, uh, I just listened to the new Home Video Hustle summing up and reviewing the original Godzilla. Thanks for a great discussion of this one, and thanks for using the Criterion version. Oh, so there you go. See, you're I know quite I welcome. Okay, shit. 
So, yeah, so you got the homie DJ thanking us. That's the homie that had us watching Tim Popo. Yes. Thank you for that, too, actually. Another criterion. Yes. So, there it is, PJ. He got the guess it, Mike Baffert got his... Oh, Mike Baffert also bought two T-shirts from us. He bought the Loch Ness shirt from God him. damn it. And he said he bought another another copy of the, the realistic art shirt of us. Because I can oh. say his was faded. And then he bought one with the new uh, cartoony artwork. Oh, thank you, so Mike. He out there repping us with us on his chest. God damn it. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Somewhere in Ohio, there's a guy with us on his fucking shirt, PJ. Just think about it. Can't wait to see that. That's (laughs) amazing. Well, PJ. Yeah. We had fun here. We talked about the movie. Gave us some scores. Talked about mad other shit. Mm -hmm. I'm to the point now, I don't, I don't, I need to stop this. Because I watched the movie and I'm just wondering, like, man, I ain't got much to say about this movie. How's this podcast going to go? And then it, it went. Two hours and 12 minutes so far. And we're still recording. And we're still going. All right. So, huh. I'd have to stop worrying about this. We we make content without even fucking trying. Like, I don't want to brag. Hours. Yeah, over two hours. 212. What the fuck? It's 430. Oh, my God. It's 430 in the morning. Uh, huh. But, yeah, see, we make content without even trying, PJ. It's, be- yes. it's beautiful. That's the- like, what I, we do. I need okay, to stop guys. worrying about this. Because even times where it's like, I have absolutely nothing to talk about, we still end up doing long-ass episodes. How, Sway? But I think this one is long enough, PJ. It's the first episode of the Christmas Hustle. How God you feeling, right? Man? I'm feeling, I'm feeling you feeling good. Like holly jolly, yeah. It ain't even Thanksgiving yet, but we getting holly jolly in this bitch. God damn, I'm gonna I'm be holly jolly all the way through fucking January. I know. I, I will say that PJ, we did the videos, we did three in advance, but PJ wanted to save the one because we found out that the last episode of the month is actually gonna come out on Christmas. Yes. So he wants to say that for that week. Yes. So We're whenever we record that episode, then we'll pull the movie. But right it. now, I will say it's a good little. Variety of shit coming, yeah. I don't remember already, guys. Like I, I pulled it. Yeah, you're going to be I'm shocked you, when so. I'm shocked on Wednesday. Yeah, what's the fuck? I know we got one in there. I just I did get one of mine in there. So far. I can't remember. I because this is one of the. Sp- I will say we'll put it like this. I give you slight spoilers. We did this one. This was a spirit pick. Yeah. The next one is from me all day. Yeah. The next one is one that I owned, but the spirit wanted in there. So that's kind of a, like a half half. Like I owned it and she wanted it. So I was like, fuck it. And I've never seen it before. I owned it, but I never watched it because I was saving it for podcast. Um, and then yeah, the last one, I have no idea. Under the Treater is a movie that PJ specifically keeps asking him to and do. I cannot. And he keeps not picking it. Yeah. So maybe he'll do that. He'll and If he gets that one, that's going to be a hype episode for him. Because he t- he's told me before that I wouldn't even like this movie. And it's a straight it's up for classic. for Christmas? Classic Christmas movie. Come on. Oh, black and white one. There is a color version, but I can find an either one. Miracle on 34th Street. I'm not telling you, PJ. God damn it. You know what? I'll tell you. Yeah. It's a- yeah, God damn it. Okay. But, see, I'll go ahead and tell you because you still got to pick it, though. So, ah. Yeah, that's the thing. You got, ah, as I look under there's the, four, ah. there's seven fucking DVD cases under here. I need one. One of them the is one. Miracle on 34th Street, PJ. Guys, I need I need <laughs> over the next three weeks. Okay, you're here with me. Be in tune with me, because on this final, it's one fucking I legit, week. And I legit don't know because the spirit wrapped them up. I, <sighs> I I wrote a list of movies and she wrapped them because she wanted them to look nice for the camera, so she wrapped them. Of course. Up. So I don't know which box is in actually. I Be with me. It. I don't even remember what all movies I wrote under here no more. That's just, it was Shit. a big ass list. Cause, oh, I, 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 I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you a hand. I, know, I remember a couple movies under okay. here. I'll go ahead and say them because you know there's a chance he may or may not pick them. Um, <laughs> or I'm, I won't remember. Them. I, you know, I'll just, I'll just throw one under that. I told you that one. Yeah. She, she uh, I, I don't think this is her curveball. I think her curveball, the biggest one she gave us after subtracting Barbie. Mm-hmm. There's a Medea Christmas movie under here somewhere. So, Tyler oh. Perry can strike. Oh, so that's what I'll give you that one too. Oh, and I now give, my I'll hands going to be a yeah. little light in there. It's good, okay. Tyler Perry is waiting under there somewhere. Okay, but then like I said, you got I got my Christmas oh. horrors under there. Mm-hmm. I got my Christmas action under there. Mm-hmm. So and then she's got a couple. What else does she have? Oh, there's one I know you'll like for sure. There's a classic okay. movie under there. Okay, so, yeah, I mean there's some shit under there. Uh, it's anybody's game. It's like, guys, I need your energy. Yeah, so let's make this happen. I will go ahead and tell you, since it is under there, you just don't know where. But Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street is under the tree. Okay, all you had to say was black and white. That's how that over yep. here. Okay, so, and then at the end of it, on the last one, I'll let you open up all the other ones and see what you didn't pick. <laughs> okay, and see how much it hurts. <laughs> Does it hurt? <laughs> when Does it, it hurt so bad? <laughs> oh. so PJ. Yes. Oh, we never gave him no info, did we? We skipped right over that shit. Come on. I'll just do it real quick. Okay. We're on social media. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. All that good shit. Mm-hmm. 
I'm mainly on Twitter, on the main page, and that's at capital H, capital V, capital H, capital P, lowercase Podcast, HVH Podcast. Mm-hmm. In the bio, there's a link tree to get you to all our different things, T-shirt links, Age of Radio links, because we're on the Age of Radio Podcast Network. Um, I will say real quick, we got a Patreon page. You can help support the show. We greatly appreciate it. You get extra videos and everything. Yes. Sometimes you get videos on there early. I actually threw one up there early one time for I released it on YouTube all the way. That damn right. Um, but uh, yeah, we do that. You can make us watch movies. We'll pick them. Like I said, in January, we're going back to Patreon. Every week will be a different Patreon where we're going to try and get a chunk of them out the way because we got a lot. And we I'm, and it's not a bad thing, but we keep getting new. Every time, it seems like every time we do a couple of them, we get new patrons. So it's like, yeah. we got to keep adding back on top of them. Yeah. So if we can, I might just like do bonus episodes that month. Just get some shit. Here you go. Yes. Okay. Um. So we got these help support the show. $1 tier, $3 tier, or whatever the fuck you want to give us tier. That's on there too. Cause some people, we got one person gave us 20, one person gave us 10. So. You like are I'm saying, you helped to get this fucking boom, boom. not boom, uh, Zoom. It's not even a microphone. It's a digital audio recorder because I got sick of the computer freezing. But boom. so thank you. Y'all helped me get that. Yes. Um, PJ is on Twitter, but he doesn't really fuck around on Twitter. He's on Instagram, manly. Where's the yes. Instagram? What's the name? At 614P underscore music. There you go. That's the SoundCloud too. If you want to hear his music. Goddamn right. And the spirit is at the spirit95 on all you know, platforms pretty much. So... Yeah, there's all the info for much. And we got a YouTube video page where we put out new videos. Usually, usually just every Wednesday, but now we've been putting out videos on Monday. Yes. And um, I can't think in my head which video will be coming out with this next week. So I just wait. I'm trying to get, like the last time at this point, I fucked up and put it out a day late because I forgot. And it took a lot of editing because we kept pausing the fucking videos. I had to go in there and keep moving the shit around. Uh-huh. But it's out there and it's funny. It's like 45 minutes long too. Yeah. What the fuck? Where we watched all a bunch of all my old shit. Skis away. Yes, 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 yes. So that's out there. So we got videos on Wednesday of us just like coming, doing our MST3K, Mystery Science Theater type shit. Boom. Then on Wednesdays, though, the important video for the podcast is that that's where we pick out the movie we're doing on Friday. Yes. Because that's how, if you don't know, we pick movies at random. And that's how we have this most, you know, diverse podcast selection we got here, as they said. Goddamn right. And it's Christmas related. So we got the tree up. PJ will be under the tree unwrapping the gifts we put under there. You see the tree right there? Come that's on. right. Yeah, if you're on Patreon. Are you for Wednesday? You can go see it on YouTube. Oh, but nice. uh, yes, we got that. So I think now we're good. Okay. So now I think I got one thing left to tell. And what is that? I'm Brent. And I'm PJ. Have a good rest of your Friday. Yes. Have a good rest of whatever the fuck day you listen to this on. Have a holly jolly motherfucking December so far. Hopefully it's going holly and jolly for right. you. Right. And um, over top the fucking outro right here, this music you're hearing is doing a Trey Voorhees. Yeah. I don't shout him out enough. I need to shout out for Trey Voorhees more. All the music in this whole podcast, Trey Voorhees has supplied Since it. Since day one. Not since day one. Since, since day, day like, like five. At least like know. 25, 30s. Yeah. Because the first time he got hit was, was Cannibal Holocaust. That's episode 20. Ha. Ah. Before that was the homie Sean, my boy Doc Giggs. He did the original music. And the theme song starts out with the Doc Giggs and it goes into the where he kind of flipped it. So we got both. See how that happens? Yeah. Yeah, you mixed them. Yeah. So shout out to Trey Voorhees. Shout out to all the other podcasters that fuck with us. You know who you are. All that good shit. Yes. And hopefully this damn recorder sounds good. Like I said, I'll be, I'll be editing it and listening. <sighs> and hopefully I didn't waste a lot of money. I bought all the goddamn accessories with it too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so come back next Friday. <laughs> see what the fuck we will go back on. Watch the video on Wednesday. See what the fuck happens. There you go. And watch the video on Monday. That's right. This is some cool fun. shit. Yeah, yeah, it's fun to watch. I think PJ likes recording those morning. He likes recording the shows sometimes. He gets a lot. He gets. I, I did get hyped. Hype. Yeah, yeah, for some reason. I don't know. That's what Steve says because PJ's a performer. He I'm a performer for the camera. I'm a performer. There you go. That's why. <laughs> so if you want to, oh, this might just have to be on Patreon because I know copyright YouTube is some bullshit. Patrick on the overall superiority complex with Mario on them. He gave me an idea and I think I'm going to do it. Okay. There's a movie that they reviewed on the podcast. I'm not going to say it's on or whatever. Mm-hmm. But he's like, you know who would do a great job of commentating on this? It's Brent and PJ. I would love to hear a Brent and PJ commentary for this movie. Uh-huh. So... We might be doing a whole movie sometime soon. Okay. And especially depending on how this microphone works, we can even do that and I can plug it into the camera and we can even get better audio. I'll figure out how to do I'll look into how to do all that. So. All right. Full, but like I said, with YouTube, I don't know how it works. So that might just be on Patreon. That might end up being just a Patreon part. Is that like you can get full commentaries on Patreon. Sit the whole, yeah. whole fucking video. Because I fuse the movie on there like I do everything and I just throw it up on Patreon. Wow. So I don't, we'll figure, I don't know. We'll figure something out. Okay. I don't know how okay. it works. But yeah. Yeah. We'll figure something out. Yeah. So, PJ, Mm -hmm. until next time, Mm -hmm. I just got to say, peace. Peace. Now, the fun part, how do I turn this off? Do I just hit the record button or do I hit stop? Let's hit stop.